y'all. Welcome to Horrible Gaming. Okay, my mic is just like going in my face the second I go live. All right, so I was trying to figure out what we would do for 30K and it took me a while to like really think about it. And then I realized that a lot of you are still confused on City Core Roads. And I know I've done like a lot of videos on this, but I want today's stream to be kind of more informative and just like more in depth on like, you know, how to play some, how to figure out what pieces are what, um, all that good stuff. And maybe we can even try to do like, you know, some different layouts. I'm gonna be trying to do several different coats today. So we're not just using one coat, that way y'all can kind of have something to go off of. And, uh, of course, if y'all have any questions or do you know, just need help with something, I mean, let me know in the comments because then we can, you know, focus on that too. I'm going to try my best to get as much content into today's stream. Like I'm going to try to answer as many questions, everything basically that I've learned through all of my city core building. As many of y'all know, I love my city islands. I love focusing on road layouts. And I know that can be kind of overwhelming if you obviously don't do city core as often like I do. Or maybe you do city core a lot and you just have no idea how to do transitions or just, you know, continue on with like, you know, a build or just, you know, doing pretty layouts in general. So we're gonna be grabbing codes throughout the stream. I have absolutely no codes um, currently. So y'all can see kind of how I organize them. And also we'll talk about like what pieces you don't actually have to have too. Like maybe you want to do city core, but you know, the thing that bothers you the most is the fact that you're gonna be using literally all of your design codes up. For me, that's not an issue. I don't mind putting effort into my roads, but maybe you want to add more details and other things, you know? So I'm gonna try to teach you also kind of like what pieces you don't have to use at all. Because sometimes when you go into these MA codes, it's like, I mean, three pages of road codes and you're like, okay, that's gonna take up all of my design slots. Um, so yeah, I think that's basically kind of like a summary of what today's stream is gonna consist of. Now, this is technically gonna be a bonus stream. My live stream schedule is usually Wednesdays and Fridays now, but obviously if I get extra time like today, I would much rather, you know, do a live stream than edit a video, like any kind of day. Um, all right, so I guess let's go get this started. I will be on my phone a lot today to find us some codes. I think the first code we're gonna focus on is a pretty basic city road. And it's a lot like Colin Crossing's base road. I mean, we've used this road already on my channel, but it's one of my favorites. The road that we're gonna start with today is by um, ACNH.Pickleton. Now, I love Pickleton's roads like so much, especially if you want pretty realistic details. So let me get um, that MA code so we can start with that one. We're also gonna do codes too in different languages. That was something another um, few of you were asking like how, okay, there was Wisp on my island during the day. That is a glitch. <laughs> He's gonna hang out with us, I guess, when we're doing our tutorial today. We're gonna be productive. We're not gonna get distracted. I'm saying that in hopes that it'll happen, but we'll probably get distracted quite a bit. I know, why is he here, Els? Also, I'm gonna go through the chat real fast before we get that code and say hi to everyone who's already here. Hi, Coffee. I have no idea how to say your name. Uh, Yariva, <laughs> I hope I said that right. Hi, Kelly. And of course, hi, Els. And hi, Jay. Hi, Manders. Hi, Kona Bear. Hi, Kirby. And hi, Emmy. And hi, Nix. Also, y'all, I'm still sick. I'm pretty sure I got COVID again because I've been sick for like two weeks and my mother-in-law said that you can get different strains of COVID. So I'm pretty sure I have it again. All the um, symptoms are just adding up to it. So I'm gonna guess, go get myself tested and see if it came back. How unlucky am I? <laughs> but um, I'm feeling pretty good other than just like this never ending cough. So I have tea with me today. We will be drinking on that. And if it gets cold, I'll just make Steven uh, heat it up for me. Hey Shelby, hi Danny, and I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm sorry if I uh, say it wrong again. Hi, Olnar, Olnair. <laughs> um, yes, Wisp wants to learn more about roads. And hi Bruno, and hi Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. I feel pretty yucky, but we're not gonna, you know, 
not be productive today. Also, before we get started, I have no idea like what I'm doing on Oakville right now. I actually hit a wall on that. If you don't know what Oakville is, it's my town core um, city island. Oh my gosh, thank you. I have no idea how to pronounce the rest of your name, so I'm gonna call you Clyde. Thank you, Clyde, for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. And hi, how are you? Is it okay if I call you Clyde? Because uh, that's a long username. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I, what was I saying? <laughs> Oh yeah, Oakville. So Oakville is my um, town core island. By the way, y'all let me know if my mic is like way too loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. But um, okay, so Oakville is my town island, but it's like set in fall. I hit a wall on it, so I have no idea what we're doing from there. I'm thinking I might just flatten the island and restart it to do something more, I don't know, like castle approached. I mean, we'll keep the whole entire neighborhood built. Like y'all know what that looks like on the speed build. I was thinking of keeping that still, but moving it towards the back of the island, still implementing that carnival, but introducing like, you know, castle structures early. So I think that's my new plan on that. Obviously, if something changes and out of nowhere, I'm just like, hey, I'm inspired. Let's finish the island. Um, I will uh, obviously do that. But tomorrow we're gonna have another tutorial video. So many of you have also been messaging me on Colin Crossing's cobblestone path. Now, that path looks pretty overwhelming. I won't have time to cover it today, but I'm gonna do a video on it tomorrow because I was actually gonna use that code anyways on a future island. I'm really wanting to do like a monotone um, European kind of city. So if that sounds like something you're gonna do and you're planning to use that code or you're just like, holy cow, where do I start with that code? Um, that is gonna be planned for tomorrow. Then Tuesday, I think we're gonna work hopefully on Oakville, whether it's continuing from the last video. I don't even, was it a video or a stream? I don't remember. <laughs> we're gonna be continuing from that, whether it's um, going from where the carnival was or we are gonna, you know, start completely over. Um, thank you, Jay and Tina. Thank you so much. Danny, oh my gosh, I'm so honored. I'm so glad the videos help. I understand I've been in that rough process too. I see, welcome. And Bruno, I have different islands because my console is modded. We have a, we call it spicy consoles on my channel. Um, if you wanna learn more about it, I, ch I recommend checking out the spicy forest video. Um, all right, let's see. Do you ever take pictures of the islands that don't get finished for inspo on future islands? Yes, absolutely. A lot of my videos are that case and on Instagram too. So uh, yeah. But um, I do document even if I don't keep something as often as possible. But yes, um, I have one console that I use pretty much for all of this. And there's a program, I can actually show you it real fast. So normally this is where you find your albums, but when you have a modded console, you can go into this app called JKSV. This, okay, right, device saves, Animal Crossing, that's all of my saves right now. So I have multiple saves because my console is modded. So yeah, that's how I'm able to swap through everything. Now I do delete my island every time I restart. Yes, <laughs> so that's my list of islands. I actually have more on my computer. It is pretty crazy and it's addicting. There is a reason, let me show you this. There is a reason why I have 6,950 hours on Animal Crossing. Um, there is a reason because of that. that. That is my issue. I have the luxury of doing so many islands. But um, it's a good thing because that means I can tackle a lot of y'all's requests. That was like the main reason why I wanted to mod my console. Not because I wanted to, um, you know, do spicy content in general. It was because I wanted to be able to do tutorials like we're doing today without having it obviously interfere with my island. <laughs> aim for 7,000, we're gonna aim for, th I am crazy, Jenna, yes I am crazy. Um, Colin Crossing, we actually always have his stuff linked in my videos, but it is Colin.Crossing. Els, if you wanna go on Instagram for me and get me a link to Colin's channel, uh, that'd be awesome. But that is who we use um, the roads by. <laughs> I think I have a little over a thousand hours. Honestly, I was like, man, that's a lot of hours. But then again, I do so much Animal Crossing content, so it kinda makes sense. Um, the addiction <laughs> is kinda real. Now, um, before we get started too, I just wanted to let y'all know that, um, by the way, I'm getting that road. Um, 
that I'm always gonna do content that anyone can recreate. If you don't have a modded console, I know a lot of us probably are feeling discouraged right now. You probably, I know I've seen it on my com, like comment section on my post, for example. Y'all are like, my island's never gonna be good now because everyone's making these modded items. I can't get that, so my island doesn't matter anymore. Uh, -uh do not tell yourself that, that is not true. The thing about what people are doing right now, they're called model swaps. And nobody can see these items unless it's another modder running the same mod. So if you went to their island right now, it would be fish models everywhere. I've been just doing it because it's kind of helping me get through my burnout. And um, it's just been really fun, you know, but it's like I would much rather do content that anyone can visit. I feel like that's more rewarding in the long run. But a lot of content creators are choosing the modded option right now for content because they're burnt out. And obviously we don't want our favorite creators burnt out. They won't post on their channel. So um, that's why I've been messing with it a little bit lately. Uh, it's been kind of nerve wracking to do it because many of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I did a Swamp Island, right? And YouTube deleted that video. I only have one modded video right now and it's because I'm worried that YouTube is gonna delete it again. So if it does, you know, stay up, I'm thinking about doing like a modded city. I feel like that'd be really fun to do, but I might share the forest that I've been working on. I don't know, I'm just messing with it and trying to, I don't know, just like feel it out. Now, something I do want to touch on before we get started about my Swamp Island, everyone could see what I did on my Swamp Island. I had no model swaps. Like, I had friends um, come over to my island that didn't have a modded console. They saw all the bridge placement, all the water stuff, etc. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, what I was trying to touch base on. Um, I'd love to have a bridge without water. Me too. Maybe next game. And I have 500 hours, but I used to have 1,200. Did you reset? And... Oh, that's kind of good to know. To be honest, I already unfollowed some people who were only doing modded stuff. Please don't unfollow me. I promise I won't do that to y'all. <laughs> Sorry if you hear Steven coughing in the back. He's sick too. YouTube deletes them because Nintendo is very anti-creator. They don't like seeing other people do stuff they didn't do. So, uh, yeah. But... Like I said, I mean, I will do modded content, but it's not gonna be the main focus on my channel. If anything, I'll probably mostly post it on my Instagram for photos and that's it. I might do a couple of streams like on a modded city. I feel like that'd be really cool and fun to do, but just know that I'm always gonna make islands that y'all can visit. Like that is a priority for me. And then of course, if you're new to my channel or you're a long time lurker, I'm adding some new content to my channel. I'm a huge Pokemon fan and I'm wanting to play Scarlet and Violet when it comes out. So if you don't play Pokemon, I still, you know, like hope that you will visit on those streams. Uh, it does mean a lot. I'm also planning to add Stardew Valley and lots of other cozy gaming. So I'm gonna try to do non Animal Crossing content like once a week. All right, that was a very long intro. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the uh, the code finally. It only took me, I don't even know how long I've been streaming for. It only took me like, what, 30 minutes to get that intro in? But I just wanted to make sure I touched base on everything before I got started and forgot to do it. I agree, Nintendo should take some advice from the modding community. Um, gonna be looking into a modded Switch once I get a job. Everyone's modded builds, especially the Forest one you just did, makes me really want them myself. I, like I said, I think the Forest has been really fun to do, but obviously I can't share it any other way except recording it and in the long run doing content that I can make a DA with. I feel like that's very rewarding. All right, so we are gonna be doing, yes, Louise, some tropical city and realistic builds in the future, but. Please let me know, or please let me know. Please, I want to let you know that I have a ton of tropical content already on my channel. You'll just have to scroll down because we did a lot of it before fall came. Um, let's see. These mods are item swaps, yes. Usually people like swap them with uh, fish models and stuff. So, uh, I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with them and I do want to share some really fun stuff that I've been doing with my uh, modded island. But like I said, I just, after YouTube removed my video, it just really discouraged me. So I'm just like, uh, cause I wanna do like content for both people who mod and don't mod. Like that's what I wanted this channel to like originally have was content for everybody. Whether you are a dirty cheater like me or whether you're someone who doesn't have access to it. So I, I wanna try to find like a perfect balance between that. So that is my goal. So as long as my video stays up, I think I'll do like modded content maybe, I don't know, once a week. Um, let's see. Oh, Bruno, that sounds so exciting. And hi, Ash Akasha. I hope I said that right. 
And could you count spaces when you do cul-de-sacs? I have so much trouble making them. That's actually something we're gonna talk about today too. I'm gonna be talking about so many things today on the stream. So hopefully that uh, helps you out. All right, I'm moving my face over just a little bit. So, well, you probably need the code. So how about I go over here? <laughs> Well, I guess that's gonna be weird to me because I never stream with my face on the side. Anyways, here's the code for today's first um, start of the tutorial. So obviously there's like five pages of codes. And this is what I was talking about earlier, like in the beginning of the stream. You'll go into an MA like this and you'll be like, what pieces do I need? And we're gonna talk about that today. So we're gonna start off with Pickles because her code is in English. So we're gonna do other languages too. But um, let's see, Sunny, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry your phone broke. I hope today gets better. Um, I'm trying to catch up with the chat. I do my best to try to read all of the comments as I can. Uh, I have no idea how to say your name, Taraya. I, I mean, I'm okay, I'm bad with usernames. So if I say your name wrong, I apologize. <laughs> We're very, very bad over here. Um, thank you, Els. I would appreciate that so much. My brother would be mad if I modded our island. I already have an unpatched switch because he already thinks uh, time traveling is not good. I didn't see the comment finished. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what we're getting. Now, I apologize. I might not be as active with the chat today because I'm trying to multitask and focus on roads, but I promise I'm gonna do my best to read the live chat as best as I can. All right, so I'm gonna start with Pickles Code because I'm actually planning to do a new personal island for myself. It's gonna be a new modern Japanese island and we're gonna be using these angled crosswalks. So I'm gonna go ahead and download all these and don't worry, we'll organize them. There's not really a way to organize these crosswalks right here. They're kind of just like, I don't know, not really like able to blend. So I just kind of grab them randomly. You don't have to use this code, by the way, if you use this road. And that's something I'm gonna talk about on today's stream is what you can use and not use. All right, let's get all these crosswalks. Um, I would check out Clutch Gaming. I'll type out in the username if you're interested in that. Like I said, today's stream's not really focused on, you know, how to do this for your console. So uh, I just wanted to go ahead and let y'all know on that. And again, I'm still sick. So I'm so sorry if I uh, sound stuffy and, you know, all that good stuff. Let me drink some of my tea real fast. Okay, we're gonna grab this piece too. Just letting you know you don't need this piece, but if you're somebody wanting to um, learn how to use this crosswalk, uh, hopefully it'll help. So long story short, this is actually my crosswalk. And I sent Pickleton my grid so she could add it to her road. And when I made this part of my road that I did a long time ago, it was very confusing and I still struggle with it, but hopefully this will help you out. What's worse, placing roads or placing trees? Definitely placing trees. I feel like trees are a lot more time consuming. iPad kid, welcome. I am still sick. I'm pretty sure I got COVID again because all the symptoms are just adding up. Um, okay, we're grabbing this. And Clyde, hi, how are you today? Yeah, there is a lot of modding in a Discord servers too. Um, I touch base on all that on my server and also have all those linked for you too. Yeah, I had COVID like two months ago and apparently you can get different strains of it and I'm pretty sure I have it again. I just have all the symptoms. I'm just glad my voice is back. I lost my voice last week. It was awful. This is the worst though I have felt. I'm honestly thinking that this is the worst um, that like, you know, version of it, if I do have it again, um, I've ever had. I'm gonna try to get tested and see if I have it back. Cause it just, there's no other reason why I have a cold that has lasted this long. Like, it just makes no sense to me. And Bruno, oh my gosh, I am so glad you get inspiration. All right, so these pieces right here, these are optional. And obviously any road center pieces like this, optional. I love using these for my Japanese islands. These, you don't even have to get them. I never use these three. You'll see these styles right here, like these three pieces, you'll see them in a lot of MA codes. It's just like extra details, but I don't like to use them because let's say you were putting a bush down, you couldn't place it because of that transparent thing, uh, piece being too far and the bush would be like, here's your road. 
for example, and then the bush would be like way over here because of that transparent piece. So I never use any of these. This is optional. It's just like road patches that she added, but I don't really use those. And of course, all of these center pieces are optional. Like every single piece right here, totally optional. You do not need it. All right, let's see. Oh, Akasha, thank you. Welcome to the channel. Danny, oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I sometimes when I stream and I'm sick, it just makes me feel better to hang out with everybody. So thank you, thank you. Christian, so sorry you won't be able to stay, but thank you for stopping by. And uh, Natalie, thank you for coming by today. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I always use these two pieces when I'm going into Pickleton's Roads. Um, they're just my favorite. They're details, again, optional. You don't need any of these codes that I'm grabbing so far. I'm just getting them in case you're like me and want to use them. All right, and then I like using these pieces too. I just, I don't know, lately I've been grabbing just the white pieces of a road lately. I don't really use yellow. I used to, I don't know why I never use them anymore. All right, I'm pretty bummed out about Nintendo not making updates for us, but maybe they're doing something new. I have no idea what to expect. I'm moving my face over so we can uh, get more. And Brock, I am gonna be going through a ton of different codes, including one that looks great for rural themes. So yes, we'll be touching on that today. And Kirby, get that ice cream. All right, so these are parking lots. I have not used these yet. I've been wanting to, but I never have space. These are optional yet again. If you want to use a parking lot, especially from Pickles Road, that does not take that much space up, she has an option for that. But I'm still grabbing them in case you want to uh, figure out you know, a way to use them and decorate with them. Um, this is not a build stream. Now, I will try to give you some ideas on how you can decorate around the pieces that we're working on, but this is a stream literally for people who are like, holy cow, I went into this MA, no idea where to go, what piece is what. And that's my goal for today's video, uh, video stream, because we have done videos and y'all are still confused. And I feel like this would be a little bit more informational, you know, in anyways. I have no plans for Labor Day, especially if I have COVID again. I am probably just going to do a video and be in my pajamas all day. So this is another piece to that parking lot. Again, optional. If you want to use less design slot space, just skip these. Don't worry about them. Sadzilla, welcome. Are you still on tour? All right, so next piece. These are the parking lot pieces I was talking about. So I would use these if you want to use something that is less space. Um, all right, the great thing about these pieces too is the centerpiece to the uh, parking lot are actually your road centers. So that's why I usually go for these instead. Uh, Jordan, welcome to the stream. And Brock, oh my gosh, enjoy that vacation. I wish I could go on a vacation, but I'm still sick. Been sick for like three weeks now. All right, there's the other parking lot piece right here. We're gonna grab it. As you can see, this is not very organized. Usually when I'm doing parking lots, I don't really think too much about it, but I do try to connect the pieces. So here's the other piece of the parking lot too right here. Katie, welcome. Thank y'all so much for being here today. I have missed y'all tons. I hope everyone is having a fabulous evening or day. Technically, I, I, I should have said, I hope y'all are having a horrible evening and day, but I guess I'm being nice today. I'm not telling y'all to have horrible days. All right, these are center pieces. If you don't want, let's say, your car to overlap on a piece like this. I barely use these pieces, like ever. Um, I've been using them for like my highway videos and that's it. So this is optional. If you don't care too much about using uh, these pieces, you can totally skip them. It gives you more design slot space. Uh, but if you're somebody like, eh, I kind of want the extra space, um, go ahead and grab them. But I have been trying to use both pieces because I like to do cul-de-sacs. And for me personally, I feel like the cul-de-sacs look better in a smaller, okay, my mic again. I feel like they look better when it's not as wide. Oh, playing with a bunch of comedians tonight in Austin, Texas. Sadzilla, thank you so much for the super chat. Seriously, you have been on my stream two times in a row now. 
thank you so much. And I am so excited about you being on tour. I wish I could go see you. If y'all don't know Sadzilla, I use his music quite a bit on my channel. Uh, he is an incredible artist. Definitely go check him out. Go give him a sub. Uh, if one of my moderators wants to go get Sadzilla's YouTube link and drop it in the chat, I would appreciate that. But seriously, Sadzilla, thank you so much for being here, even when you're busy and on tour. All right, these pieces here, totally optional. Same with the yellows. I never use these for my angled uh, cul-de-sacs. It's just too much space um, and pieces you don't really actually need. So we're gonna grab these pieces because these actually go into, they can be road centers and you need them for your parking lot pieces right here. I don't know if we need them for this piece. I'm not sure. I don't think we do, but yeah, grab these pieces here. So again, a lot of the pieces that are in my design slots, all of these right here, optional. You don't need them. But I'm grabbing them because, like I said, I plan to use the angled crosswalks on a new modern Japanese island. So I figured we would focus on that. And we're going to be going through like several codes today, just touching base on all of this. Feel free to refer to this stream as needed when it's over. All that good stuff. Okay, so the crosswalks. She actually has two options for your, her road. She has the wider crosswalks or these pieces right here. I like both. Honestly, it's just up to you which ones. It's a personal preference, but I love both. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab the wider ones. So there's three pieces to this, and actually you don't need all three. This is something that I wanted to talk about today. Let's say you don't have any of these pieces right here, but you did grab the parking lots. Again, you don't need both of these parking lots. You can just choose one. Uh, if you wanted to make your design slots further, you know, like not have as much space taken up, grab only these pieces with the uh, center parts right here included. Okay, so parking lots. Yes, I'm keeping this stream up. All of my streams never get deleted. Y'all will always be able to rewatch them. All right, hi, Lena. Thank you so much. And Manders, oh my gosh. What are you trying to reset for? Oh, Henry, I'm so glad this will help. All right, so here is the crosswalk right here. So let's say you wanna make your design slots go further. The only difference with this piece right here, which would go with these two, is that dark shadow. It's just an extra road detail. Honestly, when I'm putting my mic out of my face again, it is not behaving today. My poor mic, it went back up, okay. Well, anyways, so this just adds like a shadow to your roads, and honestly, I sometimes don't use it. You know what I usually do is throw a leaf pile, call it a day, but I'm still gonna get it because I want you to have, you know, a reference in case you're wanting to use every piece that we're focusing on. All right, so, and I'll do also like some videos too. Like I won't have time to focus on it today, but I know that several of you are asking for like, how do I use like an overgrown road that's like all broken up? Mm. I will be doing a video on that because I don't know how long the stream is gonna be today, but I'm gonna try to get as many different roads as we can into it. But just know that, if I can't get every single road type out there, um, we will do videos on it. Let's see. All right, so here's the other centerpiece. Um, all right. I just want my resident services far to the right and a yellow airport. Apparently, that's too much to ask for. I've been there. I've reset it for a certain color airport too, especially when I'm doing like a tropical theme. Always do that because I prefer orange. Lena, I don't know if I said hi to you earlier, but thank you for coming to today's stream. All right, so with Pickleton's road, I always get these pieces. Now, Pickleton has an option between her road with the white lines, which I love. I just love extra details to a road. Any opportunity I can have that, I take it. But you're gonna need these pieces if you want it to be like perfect throughout your island. They're actually technically optional. Let's say that you want your design slots to go further. You don't need these. You know how you cover up that weird gap? A leaf pile. You can also put like a newspaper design on top of it, which I'll show you once we get this code. But I wanted to make sure that I could tell you what pieces you need and don't need. But just know that technically, the corner pieces like this are optional. So, um, all right, we're gonna go down. These pieces technically could be optional, but I always get them because, I mean, if you had like four leaf piles in one spot, somebody would obviously know you're trying to hide something. So uh, we're gonna get these pieces. 
Alrighty. Hi, Creative Katesy. Welcome to the stream. And Lena, oh my gosh, I am so happy that you're here and good luck with making those designs. And yes, Elise, roads can be pretty overwhelming. And hey, Sam, welcome to the stream. And Ziva, welcome, welcome. All right, so we're gonna grab these pieces. And as you can see, when I get my road pieces, I'm putting them together. Always recommend piecing your road pieces together just like this. Organize them, it makes your life way easier, especially if you're new to City Core. Just way easier to have them all nice and organized. So connecting those pieces there. Now we're gonna focus on the next pieces that we're gonna need, which are these right here. All of these pieces, the ones without the white line, you don't need these. These are not part of this piece right here. We're focusing, it's like a puzzle. That's like the best way I can describe it. Imagine you're piecing together a puzzle and you wanna put all these together so they fit. That is basically what getting row codes is like. And I try to connect all the pieces together. So now we're gonna get this piece here and this is our corner piece. And this is definitely gonna be a must have if you're wanting to make sure your rows just go really nice throughout the island and you don't wanna spam leaf piles everywhere. But I'll show you some options and what you can delete once we get all this. So corner piece here. I started a new city core and the rows can be very frustrating. I agree. That's why I really wanted to make sure we did a stream just on this. All right, we are gonna get the side pieces. As you can see, they're starting to connect together in the designs uh, area, so that is what we want. All right, um, I'm so sorry, I'm still sick. I'm drinking my tea. All right, so getting this side piece, it's like a very strange puzzle, yes. Um, all right, so side piece here, and let's see and bottom corner pieces. So as you can see, I'm piecing them together just like a puzzle. I'm not getting just random pieces and throwing them everywhere. Putting this down and okay. So we're gonna get the other corner piece. And if you're wanting to use Pickleton's road, which I, by the way, recommend, love this road, especially if you like something that Colin Crossing did, but just has a lot more options to it. Such a great road. I mean, it matches with so many different themes. I think that's why I use this code so much. I love it. Um, all right, so top piece right here. And you see it's starting to connect and kind of makes sense. And that is what we're gonna be focusing on today. Organizing codes, placing them, and we're gonna go into codes that are not in English too. So when you go into those, you're like, this obviously doesn't tell me what piece is what. Technically, Pickleton's Road doesn't even tell you what piece is what either. So uh, hopefully at the end of the stream, you will be a pro at roads and knowing what pieces belong to what. All right, so I think we, okay, so we did get crosswalks, we don't need these. All of this, don't need it, skip it. These pieces here, you will need them, so grab them. These are your road center pieces. All righty, and we still need to get that road center, we will in a second. So I'm organizing these again, and we're gonna get this piece right here. And her other options and her MAs are gonna be the same way. You just connect all the pieces. I'm so glad this is helpful. I am happy to do this stream. I know I technically should have probably done a stream like this in a lo like a long time ago. It's just I haven't had time, but today we are covering all of it. All right, so grabbing these pieces right here, this is gonna be used like in your cul-de-sacs, your angled roads. And yeah, the main reason why, Bruno, I got my console is because I didn't wanna to go to Treasure Islands and just wanted to be able to like, you know, give myself items to build faster. All right, so these pieces here, you will need these. This, These pieces belong to whether you're using the white line uh, road option like right here. These are the white line road options, which I'm using. You'll also need them for these right here. But just saying, like I said a second ago, I'm not using any of these because I'm using only the pieces with the white line. All right, so I don't know about y'all though. Every time I start a new island theme, I have to get all my codes together or I have I just don't know where to start. Like my codes determine where my island theme is gonna go. So it's like, it helps me kind of like visualize what we're doing. These pieces are technically not needed, but I like them and I'll explain why they're technically not needed. Like I said, I will start deleting codes like off of here to show you how 
you can get away with not using certain pieces. But we're getting all the uh, pieces just in case, you know, if you wanna use all of them. Let's see. I always actually use codes on my city islands that I know I can reuse like multiple times. That's what helps me out on City Core Islands. Uh, finding codes that I know I can use them in other locations. Alrighty, one more piece to go after this. We have to get that road center. Grabbing that. As you can see, it's not a mess besides these angled crosswalk pieces. You can't really organize them, but everything else, pretty organized. That is the goal. And there's a couple extra pieces I like to get that aren't in her MA code, which I'll show you in a second. And I get this pretty much all the time for uh, my roads. All right, so remember how I said we're not using any of these pieces because they don't have the white line? The only piece I'm now gonna need is this road center piece. So we're gonna get that. And we are putting it right here. So that is every code that I would need if I was going with the white line option. But let's say you wanna kinda of reduce some of this um, design clutter. We'll do that in a second. Next, the last thing I love to do is go on criteria search. Every time I say criteria search, this is what I mean. Again, sorry, my husband's coughing in the back. Um, I usually type in the keywords great or drain. That'll bring up some really great options. So I usually get, especially if it's like a call and crossing like road, I love to get this one right here. This one actually looks really good with Colin's deleted road that I told y'all about. There was a recreation of it. I also really love this one too, but uh, I think this one, this is actually by Colin. Uh, yeah, we're all sick. Pretty rough. Pretty sure this is the one that would blend really nice into it. Now it's a little bit off, but it'll still work. But like I said, I usually grab the ones that look like this. But yeah, we're all sick here. Uh, let's see, another drain that I really love is this one. And I like to use this one too. Let's see, I know there's a couple other ones on here because I know so many of y'all are always asking me like, oh, what's the drain code? I'm like, well, I found it on Criteria Search. So um, I'm trying to show y'all all the ones that I usually use, especially when I'm doing like, you know, codes that look a lot like Collins. Um, I don't know if it's underneath great I'm pretty sure there is, it's under drain so let me get drain real fast let me type it in thank you so much six keys and uh, creative Kate yeah it's been rough here like I said I'm pretty sure I caught COVID again but like a different strain of it because that's been going around where I live and it's just been miserable because like a cold like a normal cold does not last almost a month and when I had COVID, it lasted me like two months. That's why I'm like, eh, this is not a cold. This is different. All right, here's the other drain that I absolutely love. Looks so good with uh, codes like Collins Road and Pickles. Let's see. Um, all right. I like the older road code a little more. I need that yellow road line he had in the old one. So I actually made some road add-ons to Collins deleted road on my Discord server. If you join it, one of my moderators can get you a fresh link just in case if you need it. On our design app channel, I have a screenshot of the exact road recreation of Collins deleted original black road and all the road add-ons that I've made to it. So if you wanna use his road, and you were bummed out that it was deleted. I've also made um, road centers that look good with tropical themes on it. I will, I've will. i been sharing all of my road add-ons onto that uh, server uh, channel. Yep, Nyx, you are in good hands. I got you covered. All right, so that is all the drains that I like using. So let's now go into the uh, actual island and start talking about placement and all that good stuff. We're gonna start with Pickleton's Road and then I will find some other codes for us too. This is probably gonna be a very messy <laughs> island at the end of it. All right, so I'm a dirty cheater, so I'm putting my speed animation up so my character doesn't take her sweet time by placing all these designs. So gonna go ahead and do that. Sonic running, let's go. All right, there we go. Did it not do it? I thought it did. Oh, okay, it did. I was like, where's my character spazzing out at? All right, so road placement time let's go yes let judy move and go find somebody else i say go for it 
Hi, Reagan. Welcome to the stream. All right, so sometimes people will place, let's say, the base game pass underneath your routes. I don't do that because if I decide to flatten my island, that's more work on removing everything. You don't technically have to do that. It just depends on obviously what kind of uh, design you're going for on your island. Now, I did use base game sand path, for example, on my island named Slateport. If you don't know what that is, in summary, it's the island with the highway and you can see the water code on it. I needed the sand path to be able to make that water code work. So there, for the most part, I never use base game underneath my roads. It's just more work. Sometimes the roads don't uh, go onto it, you know, the correct way. It's just not worth it. Just depends on your code. Okay, I'm moving my face over. All right, the speed animation up, yeah, it definitely helps. So let's say, what is something y'all want me to touch base on first? Do we want to talk about what pieces we can uh, delete and go without first? Or do you want to go just jump into the crazy stuff like cul-de-sacs and gold roads, all that good stuff? Y'all let me know, because that will help me figure out. But I don't know, personal preference here, I usually just do two tiles when I'm starting my city core island. Let's say I was gonna do an exact recreation, I don't know, of my tropical island. Do I have a shovel? I do. Sorry again for snuffling, I'm sick. All right, so, all right, we'll jump right into the stuff and I can tell y'all what pieces you need and what pieces you don't need as we go through it. So personal preference here, I just love to layer with my bushes right here. Just, I try to keep the same color on each side um, let's see converting the city playmat to an island okay remind me to talk about that because I'll forget princess pebbles thank you so much for joining my channel welcome I hope today's stream helps you out um, let's see creative Katie I love that idea all right so the first piece we're gonna start with is the bottom piece I'm actually gonna do a exact recreation of a speed build that we did my island theme right now, I'm, I have several. I don't know which one I'm working on currently. So these are the top pieces right here. We're gonna focus on now doing our angled. So we just use these two pieces right here. That is our road center, so fill it in. And now you're probably like, let's do an angle. So where's my angles? Did I forget to get the angled pieces, y'all? I think I forgot to get the ankle pieces back to the MA code. We go. I was like, where is the angled piece? We have to go back to Pickles Road. I forgot to, I knew I was forgetting something. I knew, but you see, we're called Horrible Gaming. So, you know, I'm living up to the name. All right, let's get Pickles Road back up because I forgot <laughs> like four important parts. All right, back to Pickles Road we go because I'm a horrible gamer. All right, one, four, one, zero, seven, five, nine, one. Oh, Tailbone Breaker, thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. And seven, three, two, two. Yes, staying on brand. All right, the other pieces we needed. Let's get them. I know, I do this all the time. Like when I'm working on my island, I'll be like, okay, let's, let's get going. I'm like, oh, gotta go all back into the design app again, because I forgot. All right, last piece that you'll need are these ones right here. All right, so getting those with the white lines, just remember that I'm using the white line option. If you don't wanna use the white lines, it's the same method, piecing all these together. She actually, it's pretty easy to identify those pieces. If you look very closely, and I'll show you, at the edge, you see how there's like a really dark shadow? Kind of just like highlighting where the corners are. That's gonna be your guide if you're not wanting to use the white line option. So just like, hopefully that helps you out. Did I already get this piece? Pretty sure I did. Did I? Yes, I did. All right, let's get the other two. I'm thinking about starting my New York Island when the stream is over finally. I have been meaning to finish it. I think I'm gonna use Pickleton's Roads for it. I feel like that's such a pretty um, code against like the fall trees. So I might, might use this one. I know I'm using it on my modern Japanese island, so it's like I don't want too many islands using the same codes, but I mean like when the code is so good, you can't really argue with that. I mean, can you blame me for wanting to use the same roads all the time? 
Alright, yo. We should be good now. Um, let me take a drink of my tea. I don't know if my husband can hear me. Steven, can you hear me? Can you go heat up my uh, tea for like two minutes? It's like cold again. And my throat is like still sore. I have not finished the Fall Island yet. We're probably going to be taking a break from it to try to implement like some castle items into it. Um, no, I don't need a cough drop. Thank you. Um, my Forever Island is going good. I'm doing a modern Japanese theme on it. I'm planning to do like Happy Home Paradise streams with it and stuff. We'll probably work on that island maybe this week. But I'm trying to get all my fall content done. All right, so first we're going to, before we do the angle, I like to place my two tiles down. And then now we can talk about the corner pieces because I actually got them. So I always use this piece if I'm wanting to do an angle that goes this way. So you basically, why I love using the white line option, it kind of, you can visualize better what pieces you're missing. So it's just like a personal preference for me for that reason too. And I feel like it's just easier. So I'm going to do, I think I did three. I think I did three angles for this. So now you're going to go over to these pieces right here. Your inner corners are going to help fill in that weird gap right there. So that is what you're going to need for this, just like that. Now, let's say you want to get extra fancy. We're going to take our center tile right here for the sidewalk. I'm going to do two tiles right here. And I normally, for future reference, this is just one, two, three. My roads usually consist of three pieces, not including the sidewalks right here. I usually add those um, after. So you can always know that a lot of my row placement is going to be that wide. Now, if we're using wider rows, that will change, which I'll talk about in a second. Oh, that is hot. Place it right there. My poor Animal Crossing cup. <laughs> you put it in the microwave. All right. So let's get those top pieces back here. So like I said, let's say you wanted to get rid of the corner piece. I wouldn't do it for these options. Oh, no. Our first bot for today. One of my moderators will delete it. Y'all report that bot too. I wonder how many bots we're going to get today. Makes me wonder. Uh, watching is so satisfying, but placing them myself is stressful. I agree for sure. By the way, Els, if you go onto the three dots by their name, you can technically click hide user from channel and then they can't spam it anymore. Els is one of my new moderators for YouTube. Y'all make sure to send some hearts for her uh, in the chat. Let's see. Uh, let's, uh, okay. So now we're going to do these pieces right here. Thank you so much, Els. Sorry, by the way, if I got your pronouns wrong. I didn't even think about it. Um, all right. Let's see. Bottom pieces right here. And now you see that there's like a weird gap. That's where these pieces come from. I know the bots delete them, send them to the void. So now we're going to take these bottom pieces right here. And fill those in now okay I was pretty sure it was she and her but I was like ah you know I'm I'm sick so like my brain is totally foggy right now so I just wanted to apologize in case all right so now we're gonna take the center pieces and you see all these weird gaps now I sometimes like to leave these open because it reminds me that I'm gonna need to actually place these pieces right here and these are usually okay don't do what I just did these go right here. So that is like the start of your angled road, right? But we're doing kind of like an angled cul-de-sac thingy. I don't know what else to call it, but I did it on one of my tropical islands. It's actually one of my favorite layouts. I'm probably going to use it again on another island. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. Yes. I had like mini panic attack. I was like, oh my gosh, did I just totally disrespect one of my moderators? Please don't hate me. All right. So... Here's those pieces I was talking about that are optional. Check this out. Let's say I didn't want to have to go through the stress of um, using that piece. I'm actually going to go back real quick into the design app because I am unprofessional and forgot to get the newspaper code that I love. I love using this newspaper code on my islands. I swear I use it on every city core. It's just that good. It's by Crystal Cat on Twitter. So um, just a reference. Let me go get that MA code. It's on my fifth um, City Core highlight, too. All right, so the code is going to be 
7327392927. All right, Dio, I think I typed that in right. Hopefully, we'll learn, we'll learn quickly if I didn't. All right, there it is. Perfect. I love their codes, by the way, for um, kid core themes. So if you're doing a kid core or a fall kid core theme, so many great options. And again, just like the other code, remember how we were piecing it like a puzzle? These are your corner pieces, just like place them the same way. Um, these are extra details, very similar. It does help that Crystal has actually labeled what pieces are what. So that'll help you with this code if you're wanting to use it. But it's pretty straightforward, thankfully, because it was labeled. This is the code that I'm trying to get. So I'm getting the newspaper. I just love this code so much. I have an extra drain I could technically delete too. I was just looking for something to watch while I was playing Animal Crossing and I'm sick as well, so this is perfect. We can be sick together. All right, turns out it's actually too hot for ice cream. It was turning to chocolate soup faster than I could eat it. That's not a bad thing. You know what I used to do as a kid is my mom would like give us some ice cream and put it in the bowl and I would take my spoon and like stir it all up and it'd become like, I don't know, I'd call it ice cream soup. And it would like, I don't know if anyone else did that, but it's like the scoops would become like this soft serve mixture. I don't know why I did that. All right, so here's what I wanted to talk about. Let's say you want to skip again, these pieces right here. Again, these pieces, all they do is connect like that. It's just a nice little detail. I try to keep these pieces when I can, but let's say you want to have two extra design slots. What I love to do is take this newspaper code and just put it right there, boom. Then I can take, it's not gonna be customized, I'm sorry, it's not gonna be customized. Then I take scattered papers sometimes and I'll just, you know, throw them on top, but obviously I'm gonna finish the road first. I'll get that in a second before I forget. Let's see. <laughs> oh, used to do it too. Okay, I'm so glad I'm not the only one. I don't know why I did it, but I did. I was like, yes, ice cream soup. All right, so outside uh, pieces. You see, I don't know what my rights and lefts are. I usually say this way. <laughs> so this is the right side, but just to know that I usually get those mixed up. All right, so now we're gonna connect to this angle by using this piece right here. And then once again, that gap, we're gonna fill it in and we're gonna take one of these pieces right here. We're taking this one, cause that's the bottom. And then we are putting it right there. So our angle is complete. I did that too, but only for ice creams that had toppings inside like butter crunch or birthday cake. I did for all ice creams. I have no idea why. Only cool kids did that. Thank you so much, Unwarded Letter, for the subscription. Welcome to the channel. All right, so filling in these pieces. Remember how I talked about those scattered papers? I know they're somewhere in here. I just need to figure out where. Where, uh, where are my scattered papers? Let's see. Looking for them. Okay, there they are. Obviously, I would customize them, but usually that's my option right there. So we're gonna be finishing off now the angle. So I'm copying the same cul-de-sac thingy. I don't know what to call this. Cul-de-sac angle row thingy my bob. I don't know. But I used it on my tropical. So we're gonna do now one corner right here. And then for that particular road layout, I did two spaces from this road. So now we're gonna fill in that weird gap with just the center piece right here for the sidewalk. Filling that in, and now we are gonna go over here because we want the other angle to match up. We are gonna take, let me move my face over so it's not blocking the uh, designs. Now we're gonna take this top piece right here to copy what we did up there. So now it's starting to do that angled uh, look again. And then we're gonna take this piece right here to fill in that angle. The sidewalk is always what we mess up. The sidewalk can be very difficult. I absolutely agree. So now, to make our little cool de angled design look, we are gonna take this road centerpiece right here to match up 
that we did two. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, looks like it is. And then we're going to take now these transparent pieces again. This is exactly how I did my tropical layout. One, two, three. Three on this side, three on that side. Now we're going to take this bottom piece right here. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So now it's starting to blend. Then we're going to take, yet again, our sidewalk pieces right here. One, two. Now to finish off that two right here to blend in and copy the sidewalk that we're going to be putting right here. So now we have some filling in to do. And we're going to take, yet again, right here, these corner pieces. These are a staple. You can't go without these, especially if you're wanting to do angles like this, because you don't want to obviously put like three leaf piles in a row. So these are like must haves. So one right there, one right here. Now we're going to take the bottom piece of the road right here, fill it in. Now you can see that we have some gaps going on right here. Once again, those inner corner pieces, taking it, one, two, three, and then we're gonna take our side piece, the right piece of the road, right here, and then fill in those in. Now we just have a couple more pieces. Yet again, these pieces right here that I was talking about, that's the same piece that we did with that right there. You could technically get rid of that, and we'll just hide a leaf pile on that weird little gap it's gonna leave. So I'm gonna take the center pieces. The road is by Pickleton. I um, will have all the codes in the description, but if you wanna get it right now, we actually use this on my road placing uh, playlist. Uh, we've used this road several times, but it is in the stream too. We went and got the pieces today. So you'll just have to go in the beginning of the stream too if you wanna like also see it. Fun fact, you can actually scroll on my live stream, even though I'm live, to the very beginning and skim through it to get the code too. All right, so we are going to get this piece now, too, to fill in that corner. So now we're going to work on blending out that bottom piece. Because right at this stage of row placing, you're like, great, I got this done. But how the heck do I go from here? So what I love to do is kind of just look at it and place the bottom tile first, kind of as a guide. Obviously that's too many because I've done this so many times. So I'm like, yeah, that's too many uh, bottom pieces. But we're going to go right here with the first bottom angle. So also I love doing the two tiles here at the entry with the bushes too because it kind of gives you something more visual to like, okay, so I did one in front of this bush. I need to do another over here. So that's why I also love using the bushes at the entry. So now we're going to go one, two, three. And let's see. I love city core. I think it's such a fun theme. I always try to do naturals and I just get so burnt out with them. So one, two, three right here. See, look how it's starting to do that angle. That's what we want. Now we're gonna go in and fill in with the bottom piece right here at the very bottom. And by the way, if you're not doing a cul-de-sac, the method that we're doing right here, filling all this in, it works for uh, angles just like this. So let's say you're not doing a round cul-de-sac thing. You just want to do a, here's your entry, straight angle like this. Same method on this side for that. So this is just pretty um, straightforward for any road angles. So filling all this in. So one, two, three. All right, so here's that piece I was talking about. Do I have a leaf pile? Let me see. I do, perfect. One second, y'all, I have to cough and I don't want you to hear it. All right, back now. Y'all, oh, I'm so tired of being sick. I cannot believe I'm still sick. All right, so we're gonna put that leaf pile to kind of like hide that weird little gap that we see. Where is my, I saw my leaf pile. And I don't know how many of y'all go through the same uh, struggle like I do every time. Where is this item? There it is. So usually I put like a leaf pile, but not right there. We're gonna have to really place this at a perfect spot. Where is it? There it is. Let's see, right there. Usually I, I could technically go a little closer, but I usually just do it like that. All right, so let's say 
you want to go ahead and finish this off. I'm also going to show you how to do an ankle transition from this. So I'm going to take the angle right here. So remember three tiles in between the sidewalks. That's usually what this road dimension is going to be. And I think it's going to be like four. No, we're going to do one more. Oops, not there. One more like that. And then we're going to take up our side corner piece. Fill it in. Just like we did on the other side, we're taking those inner corners right here. Again, these are staples, and you're gonna do all of that right here to fill in that weird gap. Me too, I wish we had more uh, road space as well. I was honestly expecting like 2.0 for us to get at least 100 more designs, especially with Happy Home Paradise. I don't understand why they didn't do it. All right, so fill in that in. As you can see, we got a really cool layout starting to go, but we're not done yet. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in with the uh, center. By the way, Joshua, I appreciate that you wanna open your island, but we don't allow any Dodo uh, co-chairing on the streams, just so nobody has any problems and for their island safety as well. All right, so doing three, I think that's the right dimension. It looks like it. All right, so now we're gonna do our side piece right here. As you can see, it's pretty much getting there. It's almost done. And then we're going to take the top piece right here to finish off the top of our little roundabout thingy. Now we just need to fill in the inner corners. So one, two. And as you can see, it is pretty much filled in. And that is exactly what we want for this location. So now all we need to do is take the outer sidewalk pieces, which are these transparent pieces right here. And like I said, if you're not doing some sort of a roundabout thingy like this, you just want to do an angled road, the method and how to fill in everything is the same for any sort of angled road. And this applies to other road designs too. A lot of angled roads work this way. This is kind of the same, this is the method you're gonna basically need to know how to place any sort of angled row. Doesn't matter what the creator design is, they will always use those inner corner pieces and you'll piece them together very similarly. Now obviously some roads can be a little different, but when you do roads as often as I do and you get used to the routine, it becomes basically like, you know, oh, this is easy, I just know where this belongs to, this goes there, just comes naturally. All right, so taking those, not that, <laughs> taking these pieces right here, filling all the way in, and then we're gonna go right here, stop with those transparent corner sidewalk pieces. Let me fill this back in because I accidentally messed up. Now all we're gonna need to do is get our centerpiece again for the sidewalk, which is right here. Let me actually grab it this time because I didn't. And one, two, three, four. So now we need to finish up with the sidewalk here. And also I want to add to, you don't really technically need these pieces. Sometimes if I'm really like, you know, in the position where I have to make more design code space, I will just take the center piece from here and fill it all in, just like this. And it'll work out, trust me, because you'll be placing um, trees, uh, fencing, list goes on. So sometimes I will have to do this option if I'm wanting to add more details to my actual island, not just roads. I will fill this all in and then maybe I'll sneak in like, I don't know, an occasional bush or I don't know, a tree. Sometimes I'll do that. And then I like to, I don't know what it is with me, but I love to layer with my fencing. Sometimes I will do a combination like this all the way to the entry and take my second fence and do that. Just adds a little bit more texture and stuff. So that is an option if you don't want to uh, have to go through the hassle of more design slot spaces being obviously in your uh, design slots. So it just depends on a personal preference what you wanna do. Both options, I use them. It just depends on the island theme and all that stuff. Now, so you could technically also get away with these pieces here by doing the same method, 
that I've done with that inner corner right here, leaf pile or newspaper code to hide the gaps if you don't want to have to use them. But if you are somebody like me who wants to put a lot of detail into your roads, I usually use those pieces if, it, if it's needed for lined options like this. All right, so now to finish this off, now that you kind of know what the routine is for the sidewalk, let's go ahead and just spam and get this done. I, like I said, I'm, I've done this so many times, so I'm pretty quick about it, but we did do a slower option on the other sides. So just refer to this stream as often as needed if you're someone who needs something a little bit slower than a video. So filling all these in. And I like to do, like get the whole layout filled in like this, even if I'm planning to do some sort of transition from it. Just gives me, um, you know, an easier thing to go off of when I'm trying to plan out uh, transitions. Alrighty, so for this piece right here, you can go, I mean, whatever design you want to. Like, I leave that open, so I can place in things like, I don't know, a hardwood tree. We'll just do hardwood trees for this. Um, let's see, I'm trying to delete some items in my inventory. There we go. So I would do, like on my islands, I usually do when I'm doing angled uh, layouts like this, I am just gonna do two bushes right here in the center. Check in the chat real fast. Um, tips to stream Animal Crossing. I have all the stuff that I use to stream with in the stream's description at the very bottom. All the uh, software and stuff like that. Definitely thinking of restarting my island after this year ends. Your city core builds have inspired me so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I really do hope that this stream helps everybody out. This is making me want to do city core now. I might edit my winter island and make a snowy city core. I'm really wanting to do a winter city core. I'm trying so hard not to skip fall to go straight to winter. I was born in December, so I love winter. And I'm trying so hard to do some fall islands. But it's, the struggle's real. All right, so that is filled in. So when you have awkward gaps like this right here, my go-to, I'm not gonna do today because this is not a decorating stream. I'm just giving you ideas, but I'm gonna layer and frame this in real quick. This whole entire spot, I usually just fill this in with trees and flowers if I'm not gonna do something like this. Like this is obviously is not fully decorated. I would probably, fill all of this in right here with trees and stuff and then I would layer and connect my fencing to it I mean obviously there's options that you can go with if you could choose to not use the um, transparent pieces but I, I don't know I've been using the transparent pieces a lot I like them but it just honestly depends on uh, you know the stuff no I'm a Sagittarius um, only way I've been able to do fall themed is adding Halloween islands items otherwise I get burnt out that is my struggle right now like I I don't know my favorite city core to do is like modern themes and Japanese themes so it's like I get burnt out when I do other themes and I think that's why I'm so burnt out with Oakville so I'm gonna try to do like I don't know something more New York kind of vibe but it's gonna be like inspired because I'm gonna be using parking lots I love parking lots so obviously New York really doesn't have parking lots but I love them for filler, so I'm gonna call it inspired, but I'm taking a lot of my inspiration from New York, so I'm gonna try to go that option and see how it goes, and then maybe I can move the neighborhood from Oakville onto that island. So that's my plan. Alrighty, yo. Um, my webcam is kind of blurry. Let me see if I can fix that. One second. Alrighty, much better. I was like, why is this so blurry? Doing the autumn Japanese theme would be so pretty with the temple. I'm planning to do a fall Japanese island. Like, that is for sure happening. I wanted to have it, like, more rural themed. All right. So, now that we have this all done, we can add some more details to the road. And, for example, we could do our angle pieces. For this type of spot, I usually just do one. So, filling in with, like, one right here. And then I'm going to take also a crosswalk. I don't even know what city theme I want to do right now. I have so many ideas, but I'm so indecisive. That is me. So if you're new to my channel, get used to me changing my theme every five seconds. And then out of nowhere, when I change said theme, I'll get an island done in like three days and release it 
and y'all won't even understand how this happened or the fact that I swapped my theme in the first place. And I'll be like, hey, surprise, dream address drop. How was everyone doing today? And you'll be like, Nora, what, what did you do? And so yeah, get used to that because it does happen. My regulars, they can vouch for it. I'm very bad about that. So I'll be like, surprise, I changed my island theme and now it's done. Have a horrible day. All right, so now we're gonna take our crosswalk pieces. And again, remember how I said in the beginning of the stream that bottom shadow piece is optional? I honestly, if you wanna get rid of that piece, you can just go with this option. And then remember how I said earlier that leaf pile? Where is it? I just kind of like throw it there. I mean, it ends up looking just as good. So that means you would have two extra design slot spaces. So you could delete the bottom piece that my hair is covering, but don't worry, we talked about it on the stream earlier. And you could also delete this piece. Two extra design slots. That could be a window code. I mean, a fence code, the list goes on. So that is two. By the way, these were my two favorite drain codes I was telling y'all about, but I think for this one, I'm gonna use my usual favorite, which is that. I love the horrible surprises. Everything you do is inspirational. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I feel like that's gonna be something that is gonna happen this week. I'm gonna try my New York Island theme vibe tonight and see if it speaks to me. And then I don't know where, I'll probably be like, so this is my current island right now. Remember how I said that we were doing this? I was lying. Or I will be very bad and finish Oakville without y'all knowing and drop the DA out of nowhere. And y'all be like, I thought you deleted this island. Like, haha, joke's on you. I finished it. So you just, you never know what to expect with me. It's always a pleasant surprise or also annoying that you never know what I'm also gonna do. But you know, you'll just have to wait and see. All right, so two crosswalk pieces. I love your username is kind of making me want to do a desert theme. Do not say desert theme. I, every time I see Cactus Girl on our streams, I'm always wanting to do a desert theme too. I really want to. I haven't done a desert since before 2.0. All right. This happens so often, but that's why my favorite Animal Crossing channel, because I get bored of seeing the same island over and over. I'm trying to do a lot of different themes, but like with the exception of my Japanese Blossom Islands, because though my Japanese Blossom Islands are my cottage core. They keep me from getting burnt out, and it's my absolute favorite theme to do. So with the exception of my tropical and Japanese islands, I will always spam those. Like it'll always happen. So if you are tired of seeing Blossom themes, and Japanese themes, I'm the wrong creator for you because I I spam those. Those are my favorite. But I am trying to get out there and do other themes, you know, too. Like, I don't do castle themes. Y'all keep telling me to do castle themes. So I'm trying to focus on, you know, builds with castle items. So I'm trying my best. But when I get burnt out, Japanese islands are my go-to personally. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take the uh, centerpiece right here. And you see how it's not really gonna be like aligned because this is where my crosswalks are. Sometimes to like to fill in that gap, I will take a little road detail, like the 30 for example, and put it right there. And that just fills in that weird little gap, you know? So sometimes I'll do that. Um, my favorite would probably be Chelsea Kate to answer that question. Um, all right. I would say Hello Kitty, but Nintendo decided a gorilla was a better option than using obviously a kitty cat, and I'm still salty about that for years. So uh, it would definitely have been the Hello Kitty one, but like I said, Nintendo's like, oh, you know what would make perfect sense for the Hello Kitty villager? Uh, a gorilla. That makes perfect sense. <sighs> Nintendo. Why? Nobody wants the gorilla Hello Kitty. Maybe like two people, like one percent. But the cat would have made more sense. Like a cute little cat with a bow. But no, Nintendo's just like, yep, this makes sense. All right, so the next thing I love to do is you could go several options with this piece right here. You can just put one of the road lines there. But on my tropical island, I did another crosswalk. So once again, remember how we deleted those road shadows because you technically don't need them? So we don't need that piece. We're gonna do our crosswalks right here and by the way if you have a plaza that's not like super far away I tested this I have videos of this of the same entry layout and my plaza literally like 
not even two squares away from this and this entry works with it so go check out that video if you don't have a plaza that is like really far away because this entry works with really close plazas so just wanted to put that out there that i do have a lot of entry videos with different plaza locations i know ipad kid right all right so that is the entry idea i guess like the same recreation from that uh, entry that I did. Sometimes when I'm in this situation, if I want to introduce Terraform really quickly, mm -hmm. I'll put an incline here and obviously expand out the Terraform as needed. If you want to see this actually happen, like I said, I do have a video with this. It is a speed build. It is going to be faster. It's not like today's stream, but you will see that idea of an incline transition from here. And then I did, I think I did like a highway kind of thing up there. If I remember correctly, because Plaza was like, I don't know, like on the right side, but really close to this. And I did like the highway behind it. I need, I don't remember what video it was, but I know it is on there because you have this layout on the thumbnail. All right. So let's say you don't want to add Terraform here and you want to start adding some new transitions from it. I'm going to take this piece right here and kick it all up just like that. So now I'm going to take the top piece right here. Remember how I told y'all that my roads are always going to be three. So that is how wide this is. Filling all of this in. And then we're going to take yet again our bottom piece right here. Don't do that like I just did. And then fill that in. So then now we're going to take the inner corner pieces yet again. Fill that in. And then what if you're in that situation where, once again, you don't want to use these pieces because you just don't want to have the extra, I don't know, design, you know, slot filled up. That's, I mean, that's two extra designs. So like I said earlier, you can do the newspaper option, which is just that. Or you can put a leaf pile there, but we're just going to put uh, a newspaper there because I'm too lazy to figure out where that leaf pile went. I don't think I'll ever get tired of seeing anything because there's so many ways a theme can be done and I truly enjoy watching content creators make and do that brings them the most joy. That's how I feel about my Japanese islands. There are so many different ways that you can build and transition and lay out with Japanese islands and tropical themes. Like that's, I feel like those are my two top favorite uh, city islands to do. There's just so many different variations. Um, all right, filling that in real, real quick right here. And then our sidewalk piece. So you can do transitions like this from the other side too. I mean, you could even do the same method from where the incline was right here, just kicking them up. But honestly, I wouldn't do a road transition from this spot. I just don't think it would look as nice. But if you wanted to, you could always just expand the dimensions like this and maybe this could transition to the option of the wider roads which I'll show you real fast I mean it works it's just not my favorite way to transition from this but if you're wanting to I don't know introduce the wider roads from something that is only from a three you know dimensional uh, cul-de-sac um, thingy sorry my voice tried to crack because I'm still sick all right so then I would just obviously take the pieces that are right here and right here. That makes it so basically, and I'll show you, I think I have a car. Do I have a car? No, but I can get one in my inventory. Let me do that right now. So mini car, we'll just get two of the same color since we're not really trying to be aesthetic right now. Um, let's see. And thank you, Els. I agree. I, I love seeing content creators do their favorite thing. Like, I don't even do cottage core themes, but I love seeing him, for example, like Consul Kato just having fun on her island. All right. Let's see. One second, y'all. My nose is like super stuffy, so I'm gonna clear it. All righty. Back. Thank you so much, Nicholas Spencer, for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. I hope that today's stream um, brings you some inspiration. And Bonnie, oh my gosh, y'all, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. 
All right, so now obviously, because that used to be a crosswalk, we would just take our bottom piece and fill it in. So that is an option that you can go for. And obviously, you would need these pieces right here, the ones that I say you can get away with if you wanted to. Or you could just do the option of a newspaper, but I just feel like, I don't know. I love these pieces because it gives the road more detail, but I know that a lot of times we don't always have the space for it. So I just wanted to give y'all options, you know, in case you don't want to go that route, but um, I'm gonna fill them in with these pieces because I do usually keep these when I'm using Pickles Road. Cactus Girl, thank you so much. I'm still blown away that we got 30K. Very exciting. All right, so the wider roads, a lot of people love to use them because when you're using a car, as you can see, it's like a perfect fit. But I use usually both options on my city core islands. So I will, um, usually if I'm doing like a road like this, but I want to incorporate, I don't know, like some cars. I usually play some kind of like this, you know? So it, like, it works out. It just depends, personal preference, you know? So obviously in this situation here, all of this, flowers and trees, usually what I do. And then if you want to incorporate, I don't know, maybe your house early, you can start like a fence right here. And then this would be like your house. So, and then obviously all the gap and stuff right here, fill it in with trees and flowers, usually what I do. So that also gets Isabel off your butt too. If she's like, oh, you don't have enough flowers or trees, and you're like, Isabel, go away, leave me alone. It's my island, not yours. I will be streaming for as long as my cold allows me. Like I said, I'm still very sick. Um, so as long as my throat doesn't get too much sore, like it's pretty sore right now, but if it gets worse, my mic keeps getting in my way. Obviously, if I'm starting to feel kind of icky, we'll stop, but I'll try to go for as long as I can. Like I said earlier, pretty sure I got COVID again. Like, are you kidding me? There's just no way a cold will last this long. Like last time I had COVID, it was like two months long. It was like a never ending cold. And that's how this feels. So I'm probably gonna be like, if I'm not better by the next couple of days, I'm going to my doctor and be like, so I think I'm sick again. But yeah, so I would fill this in with trees and stuff. And then you sometimes, you know, if I'm feeling pretty, you know, awesome, I'll do, I don't have a code right now, but I'll usually take like, I don't know, a different sidewalk code or a plank code. And you can do like a little pathway right here to make a little way to your beach. And then you could do more fencing like right here. And then you can do some uh, trees and fill it in. Yeah, so yeah, my first time having COVID, I lost my taste and smell and I had it for like, I don't know, cause it was that week y'all when I didn't post for like two weeks. Uh, it was like pretty long. And I started, I was really tired. Like the exhaustion went away like three weeks ago. But my daughter started kindergarten and she got sick and then got all of us sick. And I was like, oh shoot, it's just a cold. Cause I had a fever. And then when the fever went away, the fever came back. It was awful. And I'm still sick. That was like, uh, like three weeks ago. There's no way a cold lasts this long. And I lost my voice like three days ago. And yeah, it's been pretty rough. And it's just like, there's a different strain of like COVID going around where I live. So I'm pretty, everyone's saying like that knows me. They're like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you got. So I'm gonna go see my doctor in like a day or two if it's not gone and have them just test me and see if that's what's happening again. Cause I just feel, I feel awful. Like this is the worst that I have felt in days. Alrighty, so back to the tutorial. Instead of me complaining about how crappy I feel, <laughs> um, we're gonna fill this in real quick and then the uh, center pieces. Yeah, so like I said, all the codes, well, if you go into the beginning of this stream, you can do that actually while I'm live, like a YouTube video, you can go to the very beginning and you'll find this code, but I do plan to add every code in the description like I usually do with all of my videos of every code that we feature today. But you can also find this code on my road placing um, tutorial playlist because we've used this on the recent video there too. So you have plenty of options or if you want to go also to the creator, it's acnh.pickleton. 
on Instagram. So I mean like those, if that will at least hopefully get you by until I can get the uh, code into the description. All right, so filling in that centerpiece right here. And let's say you did wanna put your house up here. This would be such a cute little area where you can do another crosswalk and it would lead to that pathway to your beach. Like, isn't that so cute? That would be such a cute transition, especially if you're doing like a tropical theme, all the palm trees, and then you would have that little walkway to the beach, do like a little beach sitting area. I think this is actually one of my favorite maps for city core, but look how cute that would be with like a little beach area with that little walkway right there. So that, that would be a fun option in my opinion. So let's say you wanna, like I said, on that incline transition above this, let's say you wanted to also incorporate that terraform over onto this side of your map. I love this layout. I hope that this layout also gets you going on your island. Feel free to steal it. I mean, use it for your entry. Maybe you have an entry and you just don't know what to do with it. Maybe this will get you going. So let's say that this is my house. How wide are the houses again? Aren't they like six squares? I don't know at the top of my head, but I think at the top of my head, it's about like this big. So I would do, like, let's imagine that all of this, okay, four by five, okay, perfect. Well, this will at least give you a little bit of room. So, okay, we'll put the house right there. You know what I might do so you can visualize this a little bit easier? Let me cough real fast, I can feel it coming. I've been holding that coffin for like an hour. <laughs> all right. If I cough on accident, by the way, during the stream, like I said, I'm sick. I'm so sorry. Um, all right. Uh, hu the human house, our rep's house. I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go get my house so we can just place it there for um, a reference. So let me go do that. Slow my speed down. So let's go get my house and move it. I do like this map. This is actually, I think this is gonna be the map for my New York Island. So yeah, I think that if you are wanting to know what map I'm using, it's gonna be this one. All right, so let's get my house so we can place it down so you can just kind of like get an idea of what I'm trying to do. Hey Gunner, welcome to the stream. All right, so let's move our house. We want to relocate, ready to move. Perfect, at least we'll now have like, you know, dimensions so people can go off of it. All right, so I'm gonna go place my house and then I'll show you what I would probably do behind this. So maybe this will give you an entry idea and you know, just some transitional ideas in general. And then we'll do another road placement uh, layout and then we'll probably get a different road code after this to try to show you how to identify those. I'll probably do for the next road one that's in a different language so you can kind of get an idea what you'll need from that too. All right, just in future references, some roads are gonna take a lot of design slot space regardless. Oh, before we get that road, I forgot we need to do that um, angled crosswalk. So we'll do that too. Y'all, please remind me after this so I don't forget that I'm wanting to do that crosswalk because I plan to do on my personal island, which will have Happy Home Paradise. Everything will be decorated from the beaches to my house to the villagers. It's going to be that modern Japanese theme. I'm wanting the entry to kind of be like a Tokyo kind of vibe. So yeah, um, let's see. Thank you so much for the sub. I totally just missed the name, but thank you so much for subbing. I'm so sorry. Uh, Gunner, I'm so glad. I hope that this helps you out. All right, placing my house. Yeah, y'all just remind me that I'm gonna do that angled crosswalk because that is gonna be on my personal island, which will be that modern Japanese theme. So y'all will see some you know, stuff on that, hopefully this week. So there is my rep's house. I always do, like, you remember how this was a bunch of holes that I dug? I always try to, like, dig those first because I like to give myself at least one tile in front of my house so I can, like, I don't know, blend in maybe a leaf coat or some sidewalk. Um, I'm going to be still doing Oakville, but I'm, like, having some commitment issues with it because I think I want to turn it into a more uh, big city kind of vibe. It is, like, 60% done. So it's like, I want to finish it as like a Townsy Island, but I'm like totally stuck on it. So um, I don't know, maybe this week we'll do something on it. I'll have to show you what my progress is. I can load it up 
at the end of the stream to show y'all kind of what I've gotten done off camera. But like I said, I'm stuck and I have no idea what to do from there. So maybe y'all will have some ideas and I can kind of show you what I was considering. Now, by the carnival on that build, I was planning to do my New York townhouses on there. But now that I know I'm going to be starting my New York island, I'm going to totally remove that. So I'll show y'all kind of like what state it's at. But I was thinking of what if I just, I don't know, saved it for... I don't know, save the layout for like a different island, like move the whole neighborhood village. I don't know. So, all right. This is where I think, can I technically put terraform close? I think I can. Perfect. So we're going to do, this would be another incline. So I'm just going to expand this out. Let's see. See, I wanted to do like some farm areas, but it's like, I'll show you where my mindset is when we get to the island. I am still sick, so I need to cough again, so let me mute my mic real fast. All right, totally, totally okay over here. All right, yeah, y'all just remind me th that I'm wanting to share that progress with you before I end the stream. Just remind me. All righty, so this would be an incline. So. I, this is what I would do if I was wanting to introduce Terraform quicker. Actually, I'm going to move this back by, let's say, one more. So I would do over here. Your fairgrounds was amazing. Thank you so much. I mean, I want to finish the island. I'm just, I'm so stuck on it. So maybe y'all can give me some fun ideas or something. All right. So placing that right here. Maybe after the end of the stream, y'all will inspire me to actually work on it instead of starting my New York Island yet. I mean, I do want to start my New York Island. I mean, I'll at least get like the entry done this week. But if I could get Oakville done, that gives y'all a new island while we start the New York one. I'm wanting to get like several fall islands out. So I mean, like I'm determined. It's just hard when you hit a wall, you know? All right. So that's where the incline would be. And um, let me hide this uh, bot that we got. I This is the second bot that we've gotten on today's stream. Honestly, I was thinking we would get lucky and we wouldn't have any bots, but we, we got some bots. All right, so you see this empty piece right here? I usually would just place, I don't have any other tile code downloaded. Yes, Els, get the bot out of here. But just imagine like the hide the terraform with like a simple panel honestly when my design slots are really low and i'm doing like a modern kind of theme i love to get i'll get it for you people forget that the simple panel even without a custom design code is such a great option especially if you're going for like a more modern kind of city so um let me show you this one so i'm gonna go ahead and take where is it as i inject the simple panel i'm like where did it go all right so this simple panel right here i use this one a lot on my japanese and modern cities just because it's a pretty good concrete uh wall to hide that terraform and it blends with roads like this really well so um really good option all right so that is something that i would do behind my let's say this was my house i would do like a little incline transition so that is just like some like you know transitional ideas that you can do from this type of build so now we're going to focus on that angled crosswalk but yeah i love that code or code i love that panel so much when i'm trying to do something a little bit more modern and clean so and then, like I said, if you wanted to see kind of how these transitions that I did today look, I have videos on this with the same entry and everything. Um, so that right here, we talked about this being possibly a road transition, but if you don't want to do that, this would be an incline too to connect to the terraform behind the house. So great options here. On the video I'm talking about, my plaza is literally right here. Like, I, I want to say it's exactly like right there. It was such an, oh, sorry, my voice again, I'm sick. Um, it was such an awkward spot, but my plaza was like right there. So just for a reference, maybe your plaza is something like this. That is what I did to connect. So such a weird area for a plaza, but this road layout would work for it. All right, so angled crosswalk time, let's go. 
I'm gonna go all the way up here so I'm just like out of the way so let's say you're wanting to do maybe a Japanese island maybe this is where your airport is right here right so pretend that this is the airport entry this is actually what I'm hoping to do on my modern Japanese island so uh, I'm gonna take the tile pieces kind of just like frame them in right here we're getting that uh, angled crosswalk base like this is like the outside part so we're prepping that out now heads up I'm probably gonna struggle when placing the angled crosswalks it's a lot of trial and error or I will sh totally shock myself and not struggle whatsoever but uh, you never know what to expect with me so taking these outside pieces it's crazy how you finish islands so fast you're so productive it's because of y'all y'all are the reason why I'm able to do it y'all encourage me and keep me motivated so thank y'all for being amazing followers and just always encouraging me to, even when I'm struggling. So uh, now we're gonna take the corner piece right here. I'm just gonna do like a simple fill this in kind of rogue thingy. And then we'll do uh, the angled crosswalk. So the idea for that Japanese island that I wanna do is basically like this would be the angled crosswalk and then you would see a 7-Eleven here or maybe my modern Japanese house, I don't know. That That is definitely the option. Because I do want to bring onto my personal island like a lot of builds that I did because I delete my islands every time I finish them so I never get to keep them. And I really want my modern Japanese island to have basically every build that I was like, this is my favorite and I want to keep this and I miss it. My 7-Eleven is that example right there in my modern Japanese house. So I want to put those on my personal, like, you know, forever island. So I, you'll see when I stream that island that I'm bringing those builds back. So I apologize if you're like, geez, Nora, you already did this on, on a video. Why are you doing it again? But I never get to keep my islands. So this is like my first time in like two years keeping an island for myself. So I want to be able to bring those builds back, you know? You're so productive on a stream too. I love that you can build and chat a lot at the same time. It takes a lot of practice, honestly. Like, it's it can be very hard though. All right, so I'm filling this in. Els, will you get that bot for us? The same one. I swear those bots make duplicate accounts and are just like, let me try again. Maybe I'll get lucky this time. All right, so I'm gonna take now the outside pieces and this is gonna be kind of like the base that we're going off of right here this is, will be the angled crosswalk but I want to say it's like three on each side I might have to adjust this a few times so bear with me so one two three all right and then sometimes you can even like I said, imagine that this is literally the entry to our island. This would make a great transition too. I mean, there is options. No problem, Ray. Thank you so much for coming to today's stream. I hope you have a fabulous evening or morning, wherever you're at in the world. So filling this in with the crosswalk. So again, this is going to be the entry. So just pretend. Um, you can also do like, I don't know. 30 right there and then next there could be like a car or something I don't know I'm just throwing out ideas all right so now I'm gonna take these pieces right here just like we did in the beginning of the stream same pieces filling it in oops don't do that don't do that fill in all of this in all right I'll get that piece back let me go ahead and do that real quick before I forget all right so filling that in uh, I don't know. How long have we been streaming for? You are late. I want to say we've been streaming for like maybe over an hour. I don't, I don't have a way to look. But uh, I think I want to say over an hour. Give me one second. I feel a cough coming again. All right. Man, I'm so tired of being sick. Here I am trying to help y'all out. And I'm like, give me five seconds in between each thing I tell you so I can like cough my brains out. Okay, we're doing good on time, honestly. We've been very productive today. We have not been distracted. Usually we get so distracted on live streams. We're so bad about that. Alrighty, so I am, like I said, prepping out for that uh, angled road. Let me speed up my animation a little bit so my, par my character just does this a little bit faster. Alrighty, we should be good now. 
So fill in all this in, all right? Remember, this is gonna be for our angled crosswalk. I wanna say, I'm gonna be starting about right here for the angled crosswalk. Sonic running, yeah. Y'all, I wish I had the game music on because it sounds so funny. It's like little pitter patter sounds throughout the island because my animation's so sped up. It's so funny. Like when I'm playing off camera, I'm just like, I always laugh at it because my character's just making this funny sound. All right, one, two, three. I'm gonna say that's about right. All right, so we should, we should be good. So now let's talk about those angled crosswalks. This is the bottom piece. So if you're doing a Japanese island and you wanna do something more Tokyo-like, that's what I'm planning to do with my um, Japanese island. I'll probably share that this week if I get time. If I don't, you'll see it maybe next week. So uh, this is the bottom part of the crosswalk. So one, I would say about like, I don't know, I think it is about right here that I will need to place it. Maybe right there. Maybe it is right there. All right, so kicking this up real quick. Bottom piece. So one, two, three, four. About like right here, honestly. Okay, so now we are gonna get this piece right here. This connects into the sidewalk where that line is. Put it right there. So that just filled that in perfectly. Before I even focus on those other pieces, I'm gonna get the top piece of the crosswalk. So that's the bottom, that's the top. I'm gonna take about right here. I wanna say it is, yeah, it's about right here. So, cause that looks, yeah, that's correct. That's like one in between, so yeah. So filling all of this up to about, I wanna say it's like right here maybe. We'll make adjustments over here in a second. So as you can see, our crosswalk's starting to kinda, you know, take its shape and everything, which is what we want. We're gonna take now this piece right here, which is the top part of the crosswalk over here. So now that is filled in. So we kick this up and then the center pieces are actually really weird and confusing. The center pieces are these. They look pretty much the same, but they're different codes, like different places for the crosswalk. So I know that that looks weird and confusing, but I promise it's not as like, you know, crazy as it looks. So. I think we can go up one more with that, but that would connect over to here. So I'll go ahead and take another top piece of the crosswalk and fill it in right there. Yeah, so that is where we need to be. So as you can see, it's starting to look like the angled crosswalk, which is what we want. By the way, a lot of angled crosswalks place this way, but the codes can be a little bit different. Um, so just keep that in mind that the, the grid that I sent Pickleton is of my crosswalk, so I tried to make it as little slots like in the design app as I could, but I do know that there's other angled crosswalks that take up quite a bit more. So just keep that in mind. But, um, okay, so now we're gonna take, let's see, this piece right here. So this is gonna connect into that little empty pay, uh, piece right there. Kind of like those inner corners. Think of these outside crosswalk pieces as your inner corners, like we've been doing on those angled roads. Oops, don't do that. Fill it in right there. So there is basically the outside of the crosswalk. Now let's go ahead and fill it in. So I'm gonna take these two pieces now. So I don't know what piece is what, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to go right here. No, I lie. It's supposed to go right there. See what I mean? It's very weird. So yeah, okay, so this piece goes all right here. Filling that in. And then the top piece, is this one right here? I think. Okay, good. It is. So we're filling that in right here. And that is how you do an angled crosswalk. So feel free to refer to this as needed if you're wanting to do a Japanese theme. Or this would even work for a regular city core. I just love um, angled crosswalks for my modern Japanese islands. Then I would just fill all this in right here. And let me fill in that gap that I accidentally removed. Right there. Okay, so now let's finish, I guess, the whole little roundabout thingy. And I can show you how you can transition from this as well. So this is something I'm wanting to do, like I said, on my new modern Japanese island. So I wanna say about right here is where I would fill in. I'm trying to look, yeah. All right, so filling this in, 
over here. As you can see, it's taken a really nice shape to it. Then I take this outside piece right here, just fill it in. So then now we're gonna take these inner corner pieces. These ones right here, well, I say inner corner, they're actually like, you know, the corner, your typical corner pieces for a road. And then we're gonna fill all that in right there. Yeah, that looks pretty much the way it's supposed to be, so yeah. I'm actually shocked I got through that crosswalk as smoothly as I just did because I was struggling with it yesterday. I was like, I forgot how to use this. I was like, how do I do this? It took me like 10 to 15 minutes to get that crosswalk to figure out what piece was what again. So I'm honestly shocked that I got through that as quickly as I did. <laughs> All right, so filling this in real fast. And then now let's say you want to add a few more road details. So I would just take the road um, cracks right there. You can just place them wherever you want, but I'm gonna do something like that with them. I don't know, you can even place them up there to kind of like connect them in a way. So I would remove, um, where is that center piece? Fill that in right there. So I mean, like there's a lot of great different ways. I mean, you can decorate these. Uh, you'll see how I did it when I share my island. Like I said, I'm thinking, like imagine this is my entry. I was thinking of doing my 7-Eleven literally like right there at the entry or a Japanese house, but I feel like a 7-Eleven would be so good because it would be like you're already in the middle of the city, you know? That's kind of like the vibe I was trying to go for. This is a tutorial, just a road tutorial. Since a lot of y'all have been asking me for uh, more help on roads, but my videos were too fast, I'm trying to help and do as much as I can. So now we're gonna take these tile pieces just like we did down here sorry my cat is literally trying to make noise now remember how we uh we're using those tiles down here these are our sidewalks on the outside just like right here well that's what we're doing right there too oops don't do that just ignore that all right yeah feel free to refer to this stream as much as possible when i'm done i'm gonna keep it up i mean all of my live streams they always stay up so y'all will be able to um refer to them as often as you need. All right, so taking those outside pieces with the transparent part, fill in all this in. And you know what else you could do? You could also, see how this looks? You could also start your road right here and do an angled transition, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. We're just filling in the outside pieces real quick. There's so many different ways you can transition from a layout like this. Like you'd be shocked so many different ways, which is why I love doing any kind of roundabout kind of thing at a city entry because the transitional possibilities are endless to really personalize it, especially for whatever thing I'm doing. Shauna, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. All right, taking that tile piece right here filling it in all right so again this is my entry you can also move my phone out of the way it's like right there and I keep pressing it it's like trying to call somebody all right so you see if this was my entry like imagine right here where I'm standing that's the airport how cool would it be to also incorporate your villagers as part of the build so you can do a villager right there and a villager right here okay well right there and then you could just like layer the other side of their house with fencing. You could even push them back one more square to have enough room right here. So imagine this gone. You could be able, with that them being one square back, you'll have room to plant some trees right here. Which honestly, that's probably what I would do because I want to be able to have trees at the entry. But both options look good. So I mean, whichever is you prefer. And then again, right here, airport. So just imagine this is the airport. All right, so let's say you wanna get spicy and be a, you know, a road pro and start another angled transition. So we'll do that right here. So I think I've actually never done this on my island yet, but I was just thinking as we were doing this tutorial today, how cool would that look? It'd be just like this really cool curve, you know, going on. And then you can put like maybe your 7-Eleven like over here, kind of at an angle. 
and then this transitions to like the parking lot of the 7-eleven how cool would that be that'd be such a cool entry all right so now we're going to take the um bottom piece right here and yet again that is where the angle is going to start this is going to be three tiles for the roads so now we are going to do the sidewalk piece fill it in and that is going to be the start like i said to the angled road just like we did in the beginning of the stream hi nora i changed my profile back but you still call me wet chocolate you know what's so funny is like a lot of new faces here are not going to know what the wet chocolate joke was but if you're curious it was was it meant that uh, on slateport's uh boat harbor stream i think it was that stream i don't remember how we got on the topic of wet chocolate but we were talking about wet chocolate for some reason i think it was like at the end of the stream nora after dark it's a, we have some weird conversations on streams at times. I blame y'all. Y'all bring these topics. And we talk about cheese a lot. I don't know why. All right. So now we're gonna do the angle. I think I think this is about right. Bun, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel. So sorry for all the new faces today. I've been sick for like a week. I'm very stuffy. I'm coughing a lot during this stream and having to mute each time I do it. So please bear with me. I promise I will get over this, hopefully, but uh, I'm very stuffy today. All right, so filling this in. Oh, that stream also talked about you using your $1,000 laptop as a plate. Oh yeah, I remember that. We I used it for a grilled cheese and uh, my husband was like, Nora, seriously? I was like, it was a dinner plate. And he's like, that's not what this is for. Uh, good times. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kalayla. Hold on one second, I can feel a cough coming. All right, done, done literally dying for a second. Uh, thank you so much. Just know, see, this is how much I love y'all, all right? I am streaming when I probably have COVID for the second time and I feel awful and I have a sore throat. I'm streaming because I want to hang out with y'all. So just know that I am suffering right now because I'm dedicated to helping y'all out with your island. But uh, nah, I enjoy hanging out with y'all. If anything, this makes me feel better just knowing that I'm hanging out with my friends. I would take that any day than just being lonely and miserable and sick all by myself. Um, thank you, Jenna. That means so much. I'm trying to not like, you know, f you know, die every five seconds. I'm holding coughs in, but man, it's hard. Um, all right. I have a build on my island that was inspired by your Japanese harbor build. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that these videos are helping y'all out. Seriously. And Annie, Annie Dot, thank you so much. All right. So you could go several different ways with this. I think I'm going to expand this out. I know, I, okay, so when my speed animation is up, all of my villagers, they look like they're on a mission. Like, there, there they go. Like, see, she's Pearl's like, I got, I got places to go. It's just like, I'll be building and I'll just see them stress, like walking behind me on a mission. It makes me laugh so hard every time. All right, so before we um, do a different road code, I think I'm gonna expand this out. I'm looking at it. Yeah, we're doing three. I'm doing a small town build, sort of coastal, but having a hard time doing transition areas. Any tips? I know it's a fall theme, but I always encourage y'all to check out my other videos because my fall island is more of like a townsy kind of vibe and you might get some good inspirational ideas from it. But um, also check out the tropical videos that I've done too. I want to do a small town coastal theme eventually, but I'm trying to get actual fall content out for once since I never do fall themes. So hopefully we'll be able to do that, uh, you know, soon. If you have to cough, cough. Holding it in makes it worse. We'll be okay. I know, but it's like, I want to mute my mic at least so you don't have to hear me, like, struggling. All right. So you can either do three from here or you can remove this and just start off with the uh, outside piece. All right. So four right there. That's how many I did. Oh my gosh, Kalayla, thank you so much. I'm actually planning to do more spicy builds for y'all. 
as long as that video stays up i'll probably do like spicy content if you don't know what that is it's just modded content but i use that keyword so my video doesn't get flagged um so i'll probably do like modded content maybe like once a week so as long i'm giving that video at least two weeks to see if youtube removes it and if it doesn't get removed i will do content like that like I said, once a week, because I want my main content to always focus on things that anybody can make, whether you have a modded console or don't have one. <laughs> there she goes again, just like, I'm on a mission. Time to like, you know, got, got places to go. Hi, Nora, I just want to say I'm loving your fall town. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I really needed to hear that because I've hit so many walls on it. I'm so stressed out. I literally, I almost deleted that island because like, the views that I've been getting on it lately because like algorithm really does matter it helps me determine like what videos I'm gonna keep or like what islands I'm gonna keep and it's like my last couple of videos on the uh fall town court only got like a few thousand views and I know that might seem a lot but it's like my other videos like other things that I've done in the past have done a little bit better so I was like do people not care about this anymore should I just delete it so the fact that so many of you have come on today's stream being like are you still working on the island how's it going I'm like oh so people do care <laughs> so thank you thank you thank you I needed to hear that um all right let's see iPad kid I mean it would be weird if YouTube took down when a lot of other creators are posting modded content but to see the thing is when I posted my swamp video people were posting modded videos too at the time as well I'm just unlucky I'm a very unlucky person so my video got removed when other people's didn't so that's why I'm just like oh is my video gonna stay up this time I think it might be a little bit different because it seems to be like a bigger trend right now so maybe it'll be up for a while I don't know it's just I know that I have bad luck in in like real life so every time I think something's gonna be okay it isn't so I'm used to that but as long as it stays up I will gladly do more spicy content from naturals all the way up to city core for y'all once a week uh, as long as it doesn't get deleted and oh my gosh LA uh, okay that makes me feel better that y'all care I love that island so much. I want to see it finish. I really love the carnival build in the neighborhood. Y'all are the best. Like I said, please remind me at the end of this stream that y'all want to see kind of like what is making me so stressed out and why I'm stuck. Maybe y'all can bounce some ideas to me. Um, let's see. Nyx, no problem. I hope that um, you have a great day. If I can't get that city play mat uh, information in today's video, uh, or stream I mean I will do a video on it so uh, if you're not knowing what I'm talking about I l always recommend as a beginner to take something I know it sounds silly but you know the play mats that a lot of people had as kids you play with like toy cars on them if you're a beginner those make excellent city core road uh, placement guides like literally something to go off of and if I can't fit it into today's uh, stream I will do a video of like I'll take a playmat that I find a picture of on the internet. I'll show you what the playmat looks like. And I'll be like, let's take this piece of the playmat and turn it into something on our island. So if you want to see that as a video, which I feel like would work better as a video anyways, um, I'll do that for y'all. Keep in mind, it's not going to be an island that I keep. But at least I'll show you kind of like how to like, you know, copy those playmat layouts. Because those work really great if you're new to City Core. Um, let's finish this transition and then we can get a different road. I love that island so much. I want to see it finish. Thank you, Ghost Bunny. That really does help. And I'm really excited to see the pumpkin patch build. Y'all are making me so happy to know that people want to see it finished. I tried searching that up, but I couldn't find some more complex ones I wanted to do. There is some pretty complex looking play mats. Like, I was shocked. So I'll find us a complex one that y'all can go off of. And let's see... Um, Celeste, oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Sometimes YouTube's like algorithm is so bad that I noticed like I've been getting comments lately. Like several of y'all have been like, oh, YouTube didn't tell me that you posted or were live. I had no idea and now I'm late. And it's been like messing up my video algorithm. Like, you know, like just how well my videos are doing. So it's like, as a creator, it does get kind of discouraging at times but it does make uh, me happy and music to my ears that y'all still wanna see that island. 
so hopefully hopefully this week we can make some progress on it i haven't deleted it you'll be proud to know that even with my meltdown on twitter and instagram like two days ago being like i don't know if i want to do this anymore i'm so stressed out i did not delete it so you will be proud to hear that i actually didn't delete something for once um uh, i've literally been unsubbed from a creator randomly by youtube and i never know why oh my gosh it's so bad they need to fix the bug issue seriously all right, we're gonna take these outside pieces, fill it in. And then, like I said, this spot, I mean, you can even put your house here. So, but just know that I would probably, like if I'm gonna do this on my modern Japanese island, which I plan to share with y'all, hopefully in the next week or two. Like that is my forever island. I'm gonna be doing Happy Home Paradise streams on it because I still have never played Happy Home Paradise. So y'all are gonna see me go through it for the very first time. And I'm gonna do my villager houses, I'm gonna decorate them, my beaches, my house, everything. It's gonna be an island that I will constantly flatten and redo. I know, who am I actually doing those things? Um, I'm, I think my goal for the island is to always keep it a Japanese theme, but I don't know, it could change. Like what if I decide, eh, I, I kinda wanna do something different with it today. So, um, We'll just have to see what happens, but it is an island I plan to keep forever and update the dream address on. I'm so excited to do Happy Home Paradise. Maybe we can do it um, this upcoming week. All right, so anyways, like I said, on my personal island that I'm planning to start, I think I'm gonna do a 7-Eleven like right here. So this, where the holes are, that will be, um, the 7-Eleven build or you could even do in this spot a villager home too or you could do I don't know maybe even your rep's house so I mean like there's so many great options oh thank you so much for the sub um Lays I hope I say your name right Lays boy I hope I said that right thank you so much for the sub welcome to the channel and then of course I like I did in the beginning of this uh tutorial cover this with trees or flowers or if you didn't want to do this angle transition. So let's say you didn't want to do this right here. What you could also do, as I refill this in, so bear with me as we do that. All right, so Pearl's just like in the way again. Um, I'm just making sure that these are the right dimensions. I think this actually right here is a little too long. I think that, I don't know, this is all, I, I need to look at this again, but what I was trying to say is, cause I've already, I've been going so like back and forth with this. I was saying that you could also transition from like right here. I know it's sloppy looking right now cause we have been going all over the place throughout this stream. But I was saying you can also do a straight roadway from this too if you wanted to obviously you'll need to adjust the dimensions a little bit i mean when you're adding like roadways like this to round cul-de-sac like builds in general i mean you will have to make some adjustments to just the overall shape but what i was trying to say is another solid transition from a build like this i will need to adjust all of this but i mean it'll take so much time to readjust it all so um just know you will have to make some adjustments when you add different layouts like this to a build like we're seeing um because i want to make sure i get a different road in today too like one that's in a different language so what i was trying to say is you could do a road just like this and if you wanted to introduce terraform like super early maybe like let me try to make this sort of blend. Just know that the dimensions are totally screwed up because I would have to redo where the angled crosswalk is, all that stuff. So I don't wanna have to put y'all through that unless it ends up working out. But let's say, well, did it actually just work itself out? I, I guess it just, wor just worked itself out. Alrighty then. Well, never mind. Anyways, so fill all that in. And then take that top piece. What I was trying to say is this could be either the house or in my case, I'm wanting to do the 7-Eleven probably at the entry. Let's say that your build, I'm just gonna do like the squares right here. Let's say that this is the edge of the build. You could expand about like right here, hide the terraform, make this into an incline right here. 
and this would be the incline just imagine this is a 7-eleven build just imagine that and then you could expand this out to do like a highway kind of thing or like on a, I think it was the kid core highway video you could do a build like that right here and just expand all of this out right here so imagine I'm not gonna fill this all in because like I said this I don't want it to take away from the road tutorial help that y'all asked for today but just imagine that this is the incline this is the road right and then you can do like a perspective kind of thing like I said I have this whole build on that kid core highway video just because I label it kid core does not mean it won't work for other builds that's why I always tell y'all to watch every video that we do because a lot of the stuff that I do works for other themes as well but like I was saying this right here you could turn this is gonna be like the centerpiece of said highway right and then you could take these outside pieces. I'm just doing a quick example because I know we got other roads that we need to focus on, but fill in this in just so you can kind of have like a general idea what I'm talking about. Because I know that some people are visual, like you maybe you need to see it to kind of get what I'm saying, which is what I'm trying my best to do on this stream today. Because it's like, I explain things in my videos, but I know a lot of y'all are like, okay, that's good to know, Nora. Now, how do I actually do it? And I see when I'm working, I think in the process of um, how how do I want to do this? Because I know what I'm what I'm thinking in my head, but y'all don't. And that has been my dilemma in those road placing videos. So today, I'm trying so hard to make sure that. I'm placing what I'm saying down at the same time so y'all can kind of see how my brain works and just how I work in general as you can see it's a lot of winging like I just wing my builds and I know that's not realistic for everybody which is why I always document um, you know every build that I do in hopes that it'll inspire somebody or get your island going just a question how would I be able to commission art I don't do art but Els is one of my moderators Els, do you do art commissions? Because Els did my channel um, picture and banner. I don't know if Els is doing commissions yet, but Els did all of my stuff. Um, give me one second. I can feel my nose starting to run and a cough coming. Alrighty, I am back. And yeah, we do have an art commission channel as well. All right, so like I said, this could be a, ho uh, a highway like thing I would do I don't know maybe like three right here and then fill in all this in I just wanted y'all to see kind of what I was talking about obviously it won't be done I need to make a proper commission sheet yes you do Els has been doing some adorable artwork of my characters because I have like so many different character um, designs and outfits that I wear oh I thought I had fruit to be able to break that oopsie I guess not um, all right so I just wanted to show y'all kind of like what I was talking about so you see the design like right here I was gonna mimic that let me get it obviously we won't be able to finish this because we need to get a different road code I want to make sure that I at least get you know, a road that's in English and a road that's in a different language on this stream. Obviously, I won't be able to tackle every single road design out there on today's stream. I mean, that's obviously like it unrealistic, like not realistic at all. So, um, but I do plan to do a tutorial video on like overgrown roads, um, calling crossings, cobblestone path. I'm hoping to do that video actually tomorrow because I've been wanting to use his cobblestone road, but it's like I haven't had a theme to do it. And that road is very, or that path in general looks very overwhelming. So I will do a video for sure on that one for y'all. Um, hopefully tomorrow. I want to say it would be tomorrow. Um, and then obviously the overgrown, broken, abandoned roads in general. I'm hoping to do a video on those too. So I will try my best to get as many different road placement videos out for y'all. Uh, streams, all that good stuff. All right, so I'm just trying to connect this out so you can kind of see what I was talking about. So you see how I'm trying to match it up with this. This would be the highway. And then up here, I would do 
I think I would do the sidewalk pieces up here. Like I said, I did a video on this layout. So if you want to see it, it is labeled Kid Core, but it's a pretty solid build for any city island. And then I'm just going to fill this in so you can kind of see like the road. Honestly, yeah, right here. So, and I would probably be making this up here, maybe like the two square center pieces that we showed you earlier in the video or stream. I keep calling this a video. This is how I work when I'm recording. So I'm like, I always like, oh, video this, video that. So that's what I was trying to say. This would be such a cool transition from, like I said, this is supposed to be an incline. Just imagine an incline. 7-Eleven build, right? So here's your entry. You can go this way. Your incline's right there. You go up here and you got like this really cool highway look going on. So that is a layout idea too that you could do for an entry. If you're curious what else we've done so far today, as my person's Sonic running through the island, this was another thing we focused on, this whole entire process right here. We talked about it, worked very slow. We talked about pieces, what you can get away with, what you don't have to use in general, ideas from it. So I definitely recommend going to the beginning of the stream if you're just popping in here now, because we talk about a lot of content, like so many things y'all have been leaving me in the comment section, um, different tips that I've learned. So definitely go in the beginning of the stream if you are new and you wanna be able to do stuff like this at a slower pace. And then of course, the angled crosswalk tutorial, that was part of this as well. And the transitional ideas over here. Elle says, I wanna make a highway. It is mods, yes. So yeah, there is that part. So now, I guess, is it time to find a new road code? I think it is. All right, let me see what road we're gonna use. This one's gonna be in a different language. So I might use Allie's road. It's, it's a great road for if you're doing like a rural theme. And I use that actually on my, I think it was my rural Japanese um, fishing town. Thank you so much, Els. Um, all right, so I will get Allie's road because there's a lot of pieces to that. And I feel like that would be a pretty great road to end this stream on, you know? No problem, Els. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get Allie's Road. And I'll type in the Instagram. And we'll have all the codes that we talked about today in the description as well when it's over. So just know that it will be in the description. Like all the codes that I use will always be there. If you're new to my channel, that's usually where you'll find those codes. All right, so here's the username on Instagram type it in all right so now that that's typed in let's go get this code now this code has a ton of pieces sadly in this type of situation I'll have to look at it but I'm pretty sure there's not as many pieces we can get away with like we were with Pickleton's roads um but I will look and see while we work on today's um you know, tutorial. I'm gonna go over here because it's like empty. Let's go get that code. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save the code right here. So let's go ahead and get to the design app. And I love Allie's codes because Allie has also made a abandoned overgrown road. So pretty awesome creator. I really want to use the abandoned roads um, for a theme but I just haven't had time to actually do said theme yet, but I'll probably feature that code and how to use it on a video as well. Alrighty, so let's get that road. Here it is. This one looks fabulous for an overgrown theme and there's also an overgrown uh, train track. So, so good for rural themes. No problem, Els, welcome back. Also, let me know in the comment section if this stream has helped you out today because I 
hope it has. I have been trying to cover as many questions as possible into today's stream for you. I hope that in general, this stream gets you playing and some ideas for your island in general and just, you know, more informative than how my videos have been lately. So uh, hopefully this really answers a lot of like, you know, questions about roads and just like placing them in general. All right, so let's say you're in a situation that you want to use a road, but it's in a different language and you don't know what pieces are what. Keep in mind, every road is different, right? So in some cases, the road pieces might be a little bit different, but just think of it as like a puzzle. Like we were talking with Pickleton's road. You examine like basically the outside and top and corner pieces. That's so gonna help you figure out um, how it's gonna look pieced together and figure out what piece belongs to what, which I'll show you in a second. Um, four, six, eight, eight. 6996. I'm going to be using this code on my rural Japanese island, so uh, it's one of my favorites. I'm so glad, Sylvia, that it's helping you. So, as you can see, different language, very confusing. What do we do? You know? So, what I am going to start with, and this road creator actually has two different roads just like Pickleton's. So, it can be kind of confusing, especially when you're looking at this, you're like, what the heck is all of this? Doesn't this look like the same road over and over? But it's not. Super confusing. So, by the way, this is one of my favorite parking lot signs that I use on my modern uh, islands a lot. So, if you're curious, again, moving myself over. That's the epic code. So, yeah, one of my favorite, absolute favorite codes. I mean, I just love this creator's um, stuff. So, these, if you're doing a modern theme... You don't need these. I mean, this road would look really good for a modern theme, but if you're doing an overgrown theme, you have the option between the border with the leaves or no leaves. So personal preference, honestly, you pick which one you like the best. Top piece right here, bottom piece right here. You'll need all three of these for your train track. And you just repeat these pieces over like one more time. So like imagine this was your island. This would be this piece repeated that piece right here, repeated right there, and so on. And then of course, the top of the train right there. Such a good uh, train code for any, you know, overgrown rural kind of theme. Hi, Emmy, welcome to the stream. But yeah, so now let's talk about what pieces I would need if I was doing, I don't know, like a rural, I'll just go off of like my fishing rural town that I made. I'll do the pieces that I chose because you don't need all of these. So, I'm going to start from right here because this is the top pieces right here. To leaf or not to leaf? That is the question. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, it's honestly a personal preference. Um, all right. So let's see. Heavy Metal Viking. I need to learn it. I have, I'm so bad. I want to learn more uh, different languages in general. All right. So you see how this piece right here, it has like a little sidewalk you kind of see that at the top and the bottom. So this is like the sidewalk piece. You technically don't need these. This is a separate road, technically, because this creator has added um, so many different variations of this road, but I'm gonna take this piece right here. So this is the top. I think, well, let me go back down there and look, but I think that was supposed to be like in a, a building that was abandoned. I'll have to look. So top, just like Pickleton's Road, remember how it was like, oh, the white lines? Think of it like a puzzle. You want them to connect to each other. This piece right here is what you're gonna need. So ignore that road up there, that's Pickleton's uh, Road. So corner, just like we did in the beginning of this stream. And then, let's see, the top piece right here. Notice how this top piece doesn't have that sidewalk little area. Those pieces are meant to be as if you didn't want the sidewalk attached to it. So like, for example, I'll show you in a second. In my case, I want the sidewalk. So I'm gonna get the pieces that connect to this. But sometimes people, when they're doing like a rural theme, they don't want this piece. They don't want that sidewalk. They wanna be able to have you know everything um, overgrown. This right here, this is what they, I, they used it for like an abandoned building. I don't know what it, I, I think it was a school, but I think it would work great for a garage. Um, what I was trying to say though, is you see how this piece right here, 
again has that sidewalk piece a lot of times people will use these pieces without the sidewalk attached to it just because it's like they don't have to worry about the sidewalk but I want to use the sidewalk so we're gonna focus on that but that is usually when you're not wanting to have those sidewalk attached pieces you will just need the pieces that are transparent like this so you see how it has that same sidewalk little top part just like that one piece we were looking at oops I did not want to save it um, that is what those pieces are in my case I'm not gonna need them I'm like here I am now I'm wanting to change my roads again I know there's so many great roads it's really hard to pick which one to uh, use all right so in my case I want the sidewalk pieces but let's finish grabbing our main road base so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one just like a puzzle like we did with Pickleton's Road we are gonna put it at the bottom corners so as you can see it's taking shape again just like we did with Pickles Road all right taking that bottom corner and the road placing is gonna be pretty much the same like we did with Pickleton's Road for this one so it's like sometimes I think that's like something also because I know people have been asking like oh but then how do I use this road and that is the cool thing about angled roads in general the placement is going to be nearly identical to this road that we did with pickles so it's like don't think that because the road the crater is different the road placing is going to be different there will be a little bit of a minor adjustment especially with like you know some add-on pieces you know but like the base and way that the angled pieces place on this game in general when you're doing angled roads it's going to be the same for pretty much every road because there's no other way to make the design so um when you're doing you know your typical angled road it's going to be pretty much the same pieces all right so now we're going to go ahead and get the top which is this piece right here remember this has no sidewalk piece to it so just remember to look at those corner pieces and the exterior pieces of the design it's really going to help you figure out what piece is what did i already get the top piece i thought i did or is this the bottom piece i can't remember okay that's the top piece we need to get the bottom piece my bad so getting the bottom piece Okay, we're gonna put that where I was supposed to put it. So I'm gonna put that right here. All right, and then we are gonna get these two pieces right here, which are gonna be our outside pieces. I hope that at the end of this stream, y'all know roads way better because I know that going into designs, especially when they have so many different pieces, it's like, what piece do I grab? I mean, I even think that. So I hope that after today's stream, you'll feel more like a road pro and you'll be able to identify these pieces easier without feeling stressed out because I know that feeling. I get it all the time, especially when I'm using a code for the first time I'm not familiar with. It's normal to feel that way. And it gets easier. Like this process will become so easy after time when you use it and you like get these road codes so many times you won't even have to think about what piece is what because you'll just know it'll come very naturally so just know it does get easier all right so now we're gonna get these inner corner pieces so these inner corner pieces are basically these right here i think this crater has two different options so you can have you can get the square ones but you see i i always find that the angled ones work just as good as the squared ones it's honestly just a personal preference so that's what these pieces are right here those inner corner pieces i if i'm doing like you know a square uh road these end up transitioning just fine with that all right so we're gonna go ahead and grab those and let's see right here put one right there and then just like pickleton's road getting that piece right here and like I said, a lot of these pieces that, just like with Pickleton's Road, when I told y'all in the beginning of the stream, a lot of this, this is all optional. I mean, even the parking lots are optional if you don't want to have to use them. That clears up more design slot space. So just know that as you go into these road designs, you really don't need every single piece that they're, they give you. Some people, like me for example, we love to use all the road details that we can but I know not everyone wants to have their whole design slots be just road codes. So um, hopefully this will, you know, just give you 
a general idea of what you can get rid of and you don't need. But just know that I personally, I always keep these inner corner pieces because it looks better. I mean, you don't want to have to put a leaf pile every uh, square to hide the gap. So I feel like these pieces that you're seeing me save so far, these are your, yeah, you need to keep these. Like there's no way to go without them unless you want to take away the corner pieces and that be the pieces you don't actually have to use, which I'll show you in a second. One second. Okay, so this is the road center. So we're going to save that in the center piece. All right. These are the pieces I was talking about. So sometimes when I'm doing like a really detailed city core, I will delete every corner piece. And at the end of the road, like let's say I have a, a horizontal road. At the end of it, I would finish it with the corner pieces. Sometimes I need the extra four design slot spaces. I'll delete these and just throw a leaf pile and continue with the top piece instead. So just imagine like the top piece over here, but to cover that weird gap we might have, leaf pile or the newspaper trick that I showed you in the beginning of the stream. That will give me four extra design slots. So just know that sometimes I'll do that and you can technically get away without using these corner pieces if you absolutely had to. If you have the extra design space, why not? Just keep them. But if you want the, uh, maybe you need four more slots for a code that you really want, you can technically, you don't have to use those. Oops, I was supposed to save that in the center of this. Let me get that real quick in the right spot. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that over. And then now we need to get the rest of our angle pieces. All of these are technically optional, but if you're doing a Japanese theme, I would recommend getting these. They're your typical uh, road warnings on Japanese cities. So you can get these warnings if you want, but they are technically optional. This piece right here, just another road detail, optional. But I absolutely love this piece right here. Just, I can't get over how real it looks so I'll just I'll save that right there honestly every piece of her, this road is incredible optional drains you don't technically need any of these pieces right here but why not if you have the extra space grab them it's a great drain it matches with the code so I mean like if you have the extra design space what's the harm in getting those extra details so these are the, I think this is an optional crosswalk. I'm pretty sure there's another one. I don't remember. Let me look. By the way, these are parking lots. All of these. Right here and right here. All of these are parking lots. This is a pool code. I'm pretty sure this is a pool code. So this is also, uh, also optional. This is just some wooden steps that you can maybe connect to the train track or you can put in front of a house. Optional piece right here for the road. And this is also part of the road right here. It's like a little bit slightly off colored, but it kind of looks like a road patch. It's a really nice detail. You could use it if you wanted to. Um, let's see, I think those are the only crosswalks. Oh, no, I'm just kidding, they're right here. Those are crosswalks out there, but I personally would use these ones. So get your crosswalks, kind of different from Pickleton's Road. As you can see, there's no sidewalk connective piece to this. It's just the sidewalk uh, or the crosswalk piece, but it looks just as good. It blends so well. So you will see those little differences depending on the creator's code. But um, yeah, these are the pieces you're going to need. Me too. I just, Ali's roads and designs in general, they look so real. Like this is one of my favorite uh, rural type codes. Honestly, this code would even look good for um, a modern town too. I just love how real it feels. Uh, but anyways, so then you're going to need these pieces because these obviously go into like the cul-de-sac builds. So I'm going to go ahead and save those. As you can see, while I'm placing these, roads aren't as scary as they may seem. They are overwhelming at times. Yes. But I hope that literally at the end of this stream, you can go into these MA codes and not feel as overwhelmed. And it is gonna take practice. Feel free to refer to this stream as kind of a guide. Maybe you're gonna go to a different MA code that I didn't show you today. And you're like, okay, let me go refer to Nora's video or stream and let me see what pieces 
she used and talked about as a guide for me to go off of. And then you can use this video as often as possible until you can finally, you know, it comes naturally to you and you're just like, okay, that piece goes here, that piece goes there. And it will happen, trust me, it will happen because believe it or not, before I became a city core kind of gal, I did a lot of like natural islands. So when I first did city core, like I started doing city core islands like three, three months after Animal Crossing's release. So as you can see, I've been doing this for quite some time, but I remember going into my very first road code and it didn't even have all these fancy angles. I was like, oh my gosh, like what is this? But obviously it became natural to me. Like I, it just comes naturally after a while. All right, so we're getting these two pieces. These are our inner, well, not really inner, but you know those pieces that we use for our road angles? That's what these are. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save those to make that diamond shape that we're seeing literally right above us. That's the next piece we're gonna need. And we're gonna save that right here. We got one more piece we need. So we're gonna get that piece as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And we'll save that right here. All right, so we're not done yet. There's a lot more we need to grab still. These are technically optional right here. You know, those are basically those transparent pieces that I was talking about earlier with uh, Pickleton's Road. You can definitely use these if you want to. Uh, sometimes they're not always needed. I'm not gonna grab them, but just know that you technically don't need those. So these are the pieces I wanna talk about right here. This, this is all sidewalk. And you can technically get away without using some of these. This is just like a little bike lane. I think this is supposed to be for like a little bike transition where the sidewalk is. Also optional. Uh, all of these pieces up here, besides your road centers, you're not gonna need, especially if you're not gonna go for like, you know, the overgrown look. Maybe you just want this for a traditional city. As you can see, I haven't took all the codes that this creator has, but I love that the creator offers so many different road options, depending on obviously the theme. So obviously if I was going for a more abandoned, overgrown uh, kind of look, I would grab that whole natural looking path. And that also, what you would do for this type of path that I'm talking about, the natural path in for reference is this one. I call it a natural path because it's the same um, design layout as if you were using for like a dirt path, all right? So sometimes people will take these outside pieces and blend them into the centerpiece right here. And that allows you to plant like a tree in the middle of the road or um, place a flower. I mean, the, it's endless opportunities. So like you would need to pick which one you like the best. I feel like using the non-leaf option would be less repetitive. So I would probably choose this one for my personal preference. Oops. So, uh, and then this right here, that's an optional thing that you can place in front of like the train track or, you know, like a warning or something that you might have on the road. So again, optional pieces. Um, these are just like, you know, I think these are supposed to be like fall themed rice fields, I think, or something like that. So the obviously optional pieces you don't need. That is a fence panel. I love fence panels, so I recommend using them. As you can see, I've not touched these pieces right here whatsoever or the squared ones. These were optional. And again, they, anyways, they already have that inner sidewalk piece. So unless you're doing the sidewalk layered pieces and not using the, I'm gonna call them the cream brown sidewalk because that's kind of what color they are. If you're not using these, you would obviously need those sidewalk pieces. All right, give me one second. I can feel a cough in my nose running. So I'm gonna meet my mic real fast. <laughs> my husband's in the back and he's like, I just love it when you do that noise. Cause like y'all can't hear it, but he does. All right, so we already grabbed these pieces and this is just more train track pieces. You can use them, they're optional building pieces right here. Awesome sidewalk piece right here, by the way. It looks fabulous with Colin Crossing's uh, light road and his deleted dark road. Looks so good with it. I was so shocked about that. Um, all right, so the sidewalk pieces we're gonna need, these 
are technically optional. You don't really need them. I think this is supposed to be a centerpiece without the ledge add-on to this one right here, but I've never actually used it before. I know that these are needed. These are the outside pieces to our sidewalk. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. This is gonna be, you're gonna need these pieces if you wanted to use the really nice detailed sidewalk add-on. So I'm gonna have to save over Pickleton's Road because obviously there's not enough space here. So that piece would go right here. That's your uh, right side piece, your left side piece right here. I'm gonna go save that. I love this road so much. I really do wanna see if I can make it work for like a modern uh, blossom theme. I think it would be so pretty to see how this would look against the blossom trees. So I'm gonna try it eventually. Maybe I'll use this road and uh, see how it goes. All right, so now we need to go get the rest of our um, sidewalk. So I'm gonna go find that. Where is it? Is it on the first page? I think it's up further. Um, yep, yeah, there it is. All right, so our corner pieces, just like the road, imagine where that shadow is, that's the white line. So hopefully you'll get better at identifying these pieces because of the method that I've been trying to teach you throughout this whole stream. So we're gonna put our corner pieces right here, okay? So another corner piece, all right. So I'm gonna put that right here. And because the road placing is pretty much identical to Pickleton's Road, we're not going to do a bunch of layout focus with that today, but I will show you kind of like what pieces need to be placed so you can kind of have a general idea. But just know, I mean, it's very similar to how we focused on Pickleton's Road, which is this one all right here. The pieces, like the angle pieces here, that is the same method and idea for these pieces. That's what I'm trying to get at. These pieces right here, the method identical to the pieces right here that I'm saving over. So just know that the method is gonna be pretty much identical. Your difference is gonna be this extra sidewalk piece, which is technically more details. Um, just know that on my rural Japanese theme, well, my rural fishing town, I didn't use these corner pieces like whatsoever. Just know that you can, oops, I was not supposed to say that there. Um, just know you don't need these pieces. Hi, Madonna, welcome to the stream. I don't know if you've been watching this whole time or you just popped in now, but we have covered quite a bit today. Also, if you have not liked this stream, you should probably like it because I've been doing this while I'm really sick <laughs> and I hope that it has helped you. It's a like on this stream would really mean a lot to me. Okay, it's like you're, it's like a thank you for me. So definitely like the stream, helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm too. Uh, if this has been a very informative stream, because I think so, I think I've covered a lot today. And hopefully you will be a road placing pro once the stream is over. And also once we uh, finish talking about this last road, I will load up Oakville and do a quick walkthrough kind of show you um, where that progress is and kind of just like how uh, I'm stuck in general. Oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, Malia, welcome, welcome. I hope I said your uh, name right. All right, so filling in with those inner corner pieces. By the way, if you are just popping in, just know that my streams can always be rewatched. I highly recommend it because we've covered and talked about a lot today. I saved this stream into my road placing um, playlist as well. So you'll be able to refer to it uh, easier, like find it as time progresses. Obviously my video feed gets filled up so you'll know where to always find it. So you don't have to scroll through my video feed all the time for it. Um, okay. We're gonna get the, I think this is the top piece. Yes, top piece right there. And then I think that's the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom piece. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm so glad I pronounced it right because I'm awful, I'm awful with names. So bad with them. All right, so now we just need our bottom corner pieces and our center piece. So bottom corners are right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save those. Right. where are they? Oops, too far down, there we go. Bottom corner piece is right here. And getting that one. Now we just need to get our center piece. All right, 
saving that right there and then the centerpiece let's see I think it's actually yeah this is our centerpiece right here give me one second my child is doing something I'm gonna put on my be right back screen real fast so uh, give me one second she uh, is making some noise and I have no idea what it is Alrighty, back. Sorry about that. Um, all right. Thankfully, she's getting kind of restless. Like she's been playing upstairs this whole time. So uh, I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can. But uh, just know that I'm probably gonna have to go. Not yet, but it is the end. Probably is coming up. All right. Let's see. Thank you so much, Els. Yes, please do hit that sub button if you haven't yet. It really does mean a lot did I already get that centerpiece I'm pretty sure I did okay there's our centerpiece to our tile like I said these are technically optional the pieces right here that I'm about to save but I'll still show you kind of like how they look when they're placed so I'm gonna get that right there all right all right there it is this piece right here and then we'll get those extra road details so the extra road details, I just want to show you how they look, but they are optional. Just know that you don't have to get these. It's this piece right here. I just love this piece so much. So I would recommend it if you were going for a more overgrown, um, abandoned theme. Such a great staple. All right. There is a few other pieces we could get. Like we could get the uh, road warnings if we wanted to, but that besides getting these last couple of pieces i don't even think i use these honestly yeah i didn't even use these pieces i don't even need to get those i'm pretty sure i got every road piece i was supposed to get like i said these are parking lots right here if you want to learn how to use parking lots to make them very aesthetic looking i would recommend checking out go into my road placing playlist and i think it was like it has like on the thumbnail like 2.0 roads or something but you'll see parking lots in the thumbnail um, I talk about a lot of parking lot tips on there and just more road placing help in general. Like I literally have a playlist dedicated to content like this that we're doing today. This stream is definitely more informative than those videos, but after you get through this stream and you just need that little quick extra help, get to the point kind of thing, uh, those videos will be your best friend. So I think, yeah, I think I got pretty much everything. You could get this piece too. This looks awesome by the train tracks. Again, optional. Let's see. Yeah, so I think I got pretty much everything that I'm supposed to, but I'm gonna double check so we don't uh, go through the hassle. Uh, I will, I guess I'll grab the natural path pieces to kind of show you what I was talking about earlier. Just know that I'm not gonna do a walkthrough of what we talked about today because they're all gonna be saved over. But, uh, definitely go through the stream as needed and I'll delete clean up a little bit around these codes too so I'm gonna grab these real fast then once we finish talking about this road today and it's not gonna be a full-on in-depth thing like we did with pickle uh, pickles roads because the placement is literally identical for this road the pieces that I've showed you that you needed today you're gonna have to place them I mean the same way I will show you on the extra pieces that we do uh, have, like the um, natural pieces, for example. I'll show you how to use those onto the road. That's the only new thing. So um, just know if you are like wanting to use this road, go through the um, beginning of the stream and it'll be, it'll walk you through on that placement. All right, so let me go ahead and get that uh, piece right here. I think I'll, uh, I think this is the same color yeah I don't need to get another centerpiece the centerpiece is gonna be shared with the main road but I can at least move that like road crack detail into the center to kind of like organize it better okay I don't want to delete that because we need this so I'm gonna save that over here and then I'll clean up um, the uh, design slots a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that all right and we got one more piece left to get which will be 
right here. Hi, Beck. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. All right. I think, did I get all the pieces? I'm just going to grab this one just so I can see my um, codes again. I think I grabbed everything that we're going to need. Yeah. So you could go through the MA code. The creator does have an option like we talked about on today's stream. I don't, okay, there it is. They have the uh, these pieces too, but I don't need them right now. So I'm not gonna grab them, but just know that there is that option. So um, I didn't grab those today, but I just wanted y'all to know there is those pieces. All right, so let's get out of this real quick and we'll talk about this road. Then we'll go to Oakville's Island and show you the progress and why I almost rage quit it. <laughs> and maybe y'all can bounce off some ideas for me. All right, going up here real quick. Just gonna organize this up a little bit better. So cleaning this up. You can take this row patch right here to fill up that weird gap. Now we're gonna erase around it because these are pieces from the other code. So I don't want y'all to get confused thinking that these are with the other road code that we're about to talk about. So deleting this, okay. Delete and delete. All right, so these are the road pieces. Hey Kyle, welcome, welcome. We've had such a productive stream today, like very productive. All right, so let's say you're kind of going through chaos. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the chaos from the road after replacing designs. Honestly, honestly, I'm gonna see. <laughs> it is road chaos over here. So here is a perfect example of an abandoned island aesthetic. This is how my island used to look when I would flatten it. It would be chaotic design madness throughout the whole island. This is usually what happens when you're changing a theme. This is a beautiful, beautiful picture right there. All right, was so scared when I was free, you weren't gonna be live anymore. <laughs> Kyle, I love your island, it's beautiful. Okay, so who wants the dream address to just QR chaos? Here, here it is, my finished island. I hope y'all get so much inspo from this. Horrible islands. Just have a dedicated playlist to deleted islands. Kyle, get out of here. All right. So let's talk about making the road kind of destroyed looking. So I think I might, well, no, I think three could work for this, but you might have to do wider roads. I'm not sure. Let me see. Chaos core. Can we make that? Can we make that a thing? I did the other stream, like the other day, we joked about just having an island full of parking lots because I have slightly um, an obsession when it comes to making parking lots. All right, moved my face that way so y'all can kind of see what's going on. All right, so we have these broken pieces right here. So that is a road patch. Like I said, it's optional, but I just love that rusticy extra detail. Okay, so let's say I want to use pieces like this. I think the road will have to be a little bit wider, but we'll see how it goes. Now I did see that this creator did do kind of like this method right here where the road line wasn't finished, actually looked really good. So I think I'll copy kind of how Ali did that. But um, let's see, you could technically go like this with it, right? Take that top piece right here See how it kind of like makes it really overgrown looking and then sometimes people will do what that gap is. I, I don't have anything nasty looking to put here. So beautiful flower trash, we'll just put it right there. I mean, I guess it kind of looks pretty. It was the only thing I had in my inventory. But yeah, I really love, I wanna do an abandoned theme because I think this is so fun. So you have the option of taking this sidewalk piece right here and just finishing that off. And they're usually like when you have this weird little gap, what I noticed the creator did, sometimes they would take a leaf pile and put it there or they would drop like a material or something. Like for me personally, when I do plan to make an abandoned theme, I mean, when you have leaf piles, you go nuts with them. Leaf piles are one of my favorite items besides trash. 
um, but we are gonna put the uh, leaf pile right here. So sometimes they'll do stuff like that, and then maybe they'll do, I don't know, I'm just throwing you random ideas. I think I have a bike, yeah. Then they'll do like a bike, sometimes like right here, you know, just like abandoned. Let's see, I'm trying to pull it up a little bit more for y'all. Sometimes they'll do stuff like this. So like that's how you can kind of hide those gap pieces, but to let y'all know that's what the creator did when they were using this road. Then you can, if you don't want to use those sidewalk pieces I just showed you, you can also use these pieces, especially if you're wanting to connect the angles. So that is the sidewalks right here, and then that is the centered piece. So you take the center piece, fill it in right here. Oh yeah, and you can also hide the gaps with cardboard boxes and trash cans, trash bags, trash everything. I mean, so many great options to, f to hide these. I mean, like cardboard, yeah, cardboard and trash. Like, let's, let me show y'all. You can make a very nice looking trash pile. Let's see, you can get like a trash can if you're going for like a more uh, abandoned alleyway kind of a look. Make it nasty, all that good stuff. Yes, cardboard supremacy. <laughs> um, all right, where is my trash? There it is, put my trash in. Why is Pearl, Pearl has been following me this whole entire tutorial. All right, cardboard, cardboard pizza, yum. <laughs> Said nobody. All right, where is my trash? Where is my, oh, and you can also, I know I love Pearl so much. I've been having Pearl on all of my uh, city islands lately. I just love her. You can also put put that right there, like a little placemat for the trash bags, basically. She wants to learn about roads. Yes. How, how, how do I make a road, Nora? That's what she's thinking. All right, where is my trash bags? I could have swore I had trash bags. Did I somehow delete the trash bags out of my inventory? Or am I just, yeah, I didn't even place them. That's, that was my issue. All right, trash bags. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with trash. So there's that, cardboard plates instead of laptops. Don't tempt me, do not tempt me. And then you could continue, obviously, where is it? The top part right here. So that's kind of like how you can hide those gaps, all right? So now let's say you wanna go to your angles. I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna go full on, this is how you place this, because we already did that. The placement for this is pretty much identical to Pickleton's road. That's why I wanted to show you all the natural pieces to kind of like break up the road a little bit, um, because that is different. But see, normal angled pieces, right? The only difference is that sidewalk which are these inner corner pieces. So you place those right here, oops, right there. So that is the difference. And then you take these pieces right here and you can fill them in just like that. So you see very similar to Pickleton's Road. That's why I was saying like the placement for this, super similar. Like, and then you can also add this detail, like, look at that, that cool little road detail. I mean, this is a really fun road because you have the option of making it all like, you know, broken up and abandoned. So I love this road. I want to use it again so bad. I probably will. I want to see how good this would work for a modern theme, just not using like the abandoned pieces, like the road patches and cracks that obviously will work fine on a modern theme. Yeah. I feel like both roads have a similar color and some pieces might work together. Honestly, even if they don't have the same color, uh, you can get away with road patches even. Like, for example, let's see. I don't know how good it will look, but let's look and see. Oh, wow, okay, good eye. That, that's a good eye you have, JLo. That is so close. Y'all. JLo, that is such a good eye you have. I was thinking, are they similar? They are very similar. So now you have the luxury of more road details and options because it looks like little road patches. 
That is such a good eye. I'm so excited about that because now if you wanted to do the really detailed road, you can use my angled crosswalks that I gave Pickle. How cool is that? That is so awesome, JLo, that you noticed that. Not even I noticed that. This unlocks so many cool possibilities. How awesome. All right, so we have confirmed that Pickleton's Road will make some really cool add-ons. And the great thing about this road too is because it's meant to be kind of like broken up and abandoned and kind of just, you know, kind of a more dirty road. Um, it's okay if there's some slight uh, places like, you know, where it's not blending perfectly, but this, this looks pretty dang cool. Like y'all, that is, that's awesome. That is so, my mind is completely blown. What a good eye. All right, so if you want to know what the MA is, I'm just so, so y'all know, uh, y'all know, you will be able to see the MAs to these in the stream, but I'll type them out. So these are the only two roads we focused on today, which was Allie's roads. So the first road, and I'll make sure to label them too for y'all. And again, it'll be in the description, but uh, let me type them out for y'all. So the first road, Y'all, I'm so excited about this. I am going to be combining now both of these roads. I don't know what theme yet, but I'm combining both of these and I'm keeping them. Like that is, that's epic. Um, okay, so Abandoned Road, MA7414. All right. Uh, I'm going to just label it Abandoned road all right all right and now and road at beginning of stream typing it in blends well with this road is ma let me get that again ma Gotta scroll down on Pickle's uh, feed. There it is. One, four, one, zero, seven, five, nine, one, seven, three, two, two. I'll go ahead and also pin it. So there it is. Those are the road creators that we've talked about today that actually ended up working great together like what these are two of my favorite roads how did i never notice that they blend so good together j-lo you have blown my mind like i have used these codes multiple times never did it occur to me that they blended so well together like that is insane the possibilities now obviously like the sidewalk pieces like, for example, um, you won't see it on here, but obviously, like, these tile pieces, they won't really work with um, Allie's Road. But if you wanted to get away with, like, let's say, the parking lots that um, Pickle made, or maybe the road cracks, the 30, the um, the, warn the road warnings that you see right here, and those angled crosswalks, they actually ended up blending really well. Not sure how the lines blend into it. Let's see. So, well not like it doesn't have to be perfect but i do notice that these crosswalks right here don't really blend but you could honestly to get away with it you could which i would probably end up doing because it's worth it to me to have those angled crosswalks on Allie's road just put a leaf pile there hide up that uh that little separation that you were seeing and let's see i'm trying to get the other pieces so we can kind of like have a better visual you know is that where it needs to be no let me get the other me trying to figure out now remember how i jinxed myself and said oh i'm surprised i didn't struggle when when i placed these angled crosswalks earlier into the stream here i am like what piece is what all right where is where's the other top piece am i just like did i accidentally delete it or is it just like right i wonder if i accidentally deleted it or i'm just I literally just can't see it right now. Let's see, I'm gonna place it right here. I wonder if I accidentally deleted one of the pieces. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. 
oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, so obviously we would need to hide up that gap right here too. So it makes me wonder if, let's see, I'm trying to like play around with it. Place the leaf pile like right here. And I wonder if we could do, do something as simple as like, let's see, I'm gonna type in decoy duck. Cause I wonder if I could just place like a couple of ducks here, it would like hide that, but still look really cute, you know? Let's see. Hmm. Obviously we'll have to really play around with this, but I think, I think it can work. Cause I'm determined. I was thinking like what if we could put like a couple of ducks here or you could do like some trash or scattered paper regardless I think there is a way we can make this piece work I mean it'll be a lot of trial but I'm pretty sure we could or maybe I can try to go find my old grid because like I sent Pickleton the grid to make these angled crosswalks because this is actually from a road add-on that I did a long time ago Worst case scenario, I can go find my grid if I decide to use this road and combine both the paths and I can just remove where that white line is in that shadow and just keep the crosswalk piece. So like remove where you see how it's having blending issues right here or try to maybe color match and blend into Allie's road. I feel like I could do that, but um, obviously it wouldn't be an identical color match, but that's the great thing about roads like this. You don't have to be exact. But it is an option if I decide to do, like, you know, combine both of these together, I feel like that would be so worth it. But that's still insane that we have the option of the parking lots. I wouldn't, like, right here, all the parking lots, that stuff too. So, like, yeah, the parking lots even blend really well into this. Like, that is, that's pretty cool. What a good eye that JLo had, honestly. That is just awesome. Alrighty, so... We've covered so much today. Like, if you are coming to the stream just now, just know that we have talked and covered so much. Like, how to identify pieces, what pieces you don't actually need. I mean, the list goes on. This stream is going to stay up forever. So, I recommend if you are somebody out there who is struggling with roads, skim through this stream, replay it as often as needed. Um, all the codes are pinned in the chat, but I'll re-add them to the description as well. But I hope that today's uh, stream just covered so much for you. I hope that y'all go into City Core now feeling confident. Now you have something that's a little more in depth, like, you know, like identifying pieces better. So y'all just let me know in the comments if today's stream really helped you. But that being said, um, we're gonna go load up my island called Oakville and we will show you the progress on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that real fast to Oakville. It's really simple, so I'm gonna do that. As many of y'all know, I have a spicy console. So I'm just gonna go load up Oakville real fast. I think I, think I have it. I might have drug the save to my computer. I think it's under Fall City. Let me try and see. Let me see if it's there. I'm just reloading, oops, reloading it. All right, let me, let me see. Oh, I need to change the time because if you're wondering like what time I usually do my fall island, where, me trying to remember, where's the day and time? My camera is like in the way. Let me move, turn that off for a second. System, um, date and time, I usually do, November 16 and then I will just do this around I don't know 5 30 p.m. I think that's usually when I have Oakville on all right let me put my webcam back all right let's load this up I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is Oakville if not it'll have to be a different video because I don't remember roads uh, always suddenly changing colors so it technically doesn't matter if they're different colors and don't blend exactly that's why I'm like, if it doesn't blend perfectly, it works fine because roads aren't perfect. So, uh, all right, loading up Oakville. I think this is Oakville. 
and we'll do a quick walkthrough of basically what has been stressing me out and uh, the progress so y'all kind of have a general idea this same bot has been on our stream like all day so crazy oh it looks like it is oakville perfect let's load it up then and show you all the progress thank you Els. all right did you <laughs> kyle did you unhide it <laughs> this is like the sixth time right like they didn't come onto my other stream but it's probably because i was playing pokemon and the stream was like a little bit smaller so it was like uh it's not worth the time but they see us being productive on this stream they're just like oh time to go you know destroy well the thing is we do we blocked every time they hide like we hide it from the channel they are technically uh blocked the bot has multiple accounts which makes it stressful all right we're on oakville so let's see i'll go to the front of the island all right so here is the entry so obviously pretty much the same from those videos so oakville's uh cul-de-sac right here with the pumpkins and then over here we move over to kind of like the more natural area and then it goes up this incline and i really liked how this spot turned out because you can see a lot of houses and rooftops in the distance so that's how this uh, little spot um, ended up turning out my eyes are so happy with all the fall colors so beautiful thank you i like i said i almost deleted this island because i'm so stressed out but i will as long as y'all keep encouraging me i'll finish it all right so we have like this little walkway right here and this was such an awkward spot so i ended up doing like a playground because i'm at the edge of my map so that's what i did right here and again we're back over at that little overlook spot don't you dare delete i haven't even when i had my breakdown on twitter the other day i told y'all i didn't delete it all right i have to head out but i'm glad to see you nora i hope you get well soon manders you're actually leaving at a perfect time because after i do this walkthrough the stream is pretty much going to be over because we've been streaming for like a couple of hours thank you numberless and christina thank you so much all right so we go over here and there's my plaza super weird spot but i made it work and then right here this is one of the spots i was stressing out i have no idea what i'm gonna do here what i was considering is maybe getting some extra player homes and putting them right here because like the weird thing about this island it doesn't really focus on structural builds right it's mostly focused on like my villagers and the main buildings this is the first island that has had every villager on it instead of the beach so yeah but this is one of the spots i'm like oh i don't know what to do with it i'll show you what i have done up there in a second so then here's my house right here and then we go over this small little like cozy angled roadway got my villagers right here you can kind of see a villager house uh poking up up there since it's next to resident services, could you do maybe farmer's market stall set up like the villagers have? Oh, I, I actually like that. That's a great idea. But yeah, there's the house right there. Okay, so when you go over to this location, this was a happy accident. I was actually, I can't, oh man, my camera uh, removed it. So I was actually placing the brown roof house up here to get it out of the way. But then... Okay, well, I can't show you because the camera hates me, but you see how it kind of gave like that cool tiered look? I was like, holy cow, this is actually pretty cool looking. So I ended up keeping it. So I really, really like that. And then I just kind of like to hide it. I did some terraform right there with panels to kind of like fill in the top level a little bit more. So that's what I did right there. I love this time of day for the theme. Thank you, thank you. And me too. I think it's really cozy. So you go up here. There's another house. All of the villagers are placed, as you can see. This is on the way to the carnival. So pretty overgrown looking. And then there's our our carnival. It's just like right there. So I that's where our carnival location is. 
I'm going to be referring back to your videos and photos of this island when I finally tackle my fall town. I really do hope that y'all get inspiration from it because it has been one of the hardest islands I've ever done because y'all know I focus mostly on modern themes. I don't ever do townsy vibes like this. So like this is very out of my comfort zone, which is why I was like, I want to delete this and remove it because I'm so stressed out. But yeah, that is our carnival. So carnival right there. And then we go through this little walkway. And this is where I was thinking about deleting because I was, I was, okay, so I was going to do my New York townhouses right here, but y'all see, I'm about to do my New York Island. So I'm torn. I'm so torn about this because I was thinking the New York townhouses would look really cool right here, but I want to do the same build on my New York Island. So I don't want to have like the same builds over again. So what I'm going to do most likely from this parking lot I'm gonna delete all of this because like I said, I really want to save my townhouses for my New York Island. I'm gonna remove all of this and what I was thinking of is making multiple player accounts and doing like some houses right here with like overgrown uh, yards. That's what I was thinking about replacing right here. So this plot right here is covered. My issue is, what do I do from here? Do I just like, do I continue and transition this into like more of the middle of the city now. Like the entry and everything else is like city outskirts kind of vibes, you know? So do I take my original idea, which was the outskirts of the uh, town, transitioning now back into the bigger city elements? That's what I'm torn about because if I add farms and stuff to this, it's not gonna look good. It's like, I, I'm sure someone could make it work, but the way that I'm start, this is starting to transition from the carnival, it's looking more big city vibes. Now, hear me out on this. On the top right of my map, I do plan to do some sort of a natural perspective over here. So I was thinking, if anything, maybe the pumpkin farm could be over there. Or, okay, sorry, I'm super snuffly. What I could do, instead of moving to villager homes right here, I make a very, and I mean very small, pumpkin patch right there to kind of blend into the fall carnival. Because this is literally my edge of my map. That's why I'm saying it wouldn't be very big. But what if we do the barn right here, maybe have like a cute transition to the beach? And then this is the patch. What do y'all think about that? Would that work with the parking lot right here? And then it transitions to the big city. How do we feel about that? That's what I'm torn about because I originally, I was like, oh, I wonder if I could do like a full town core kind of vibe. But as you can see from the carnival, it's starting to kind of like move and transition into more of the middle of the city. So like, that was the original plan anyways. I mean, I'm not going to complain if that's how it ends up going because I thought it'd be really cool to have like the city outskirts, which is my entry with all the villagers, the city outskirts, the neighborhoods, and then it moves into my the bigger city elements. So if y'all like that idea, I'm down. But um, I do like the suggestion that one of y'all just gave me about the pumpkin patch being here. Would the barn look weird though? Because it's technically like, I don't know. Would it look weird to have a barn here while it starts to move into the bigger city elements? Or would that work because this is technically the outskirts? So what do y'all think? I just, that's what I'm torn about. That's kind of like my mindset. Lauren, I agree. I feel like it does make sense for realism to have like the city outskirts transition into the bigger city elements. But yeah, that, that's basically my dilemma. So if y'all like this island still, I mean, I can work on it this week and try to get it finished. As you can see, I know it looks like a lot. The whole um, right side is empty, but that is not that much work for me because I have, I have some pretty big builds. I have an apple or orchard in the middle of my town, like a couple feet from my entrance. And instead of having an actual farm, 
Okay, like a community garden. I could do like a community pumpkin patch instead. Like don't add a barn, but kind of like an overgrown pumpkin patch. That would actually be really cute. Maybe I'll do something like that. I like that because I just feel like putting a barn won't look good. I don't know. But that's kind of like my, my thought process. I just feel like if I put a barn there, I'm going to hate it. But I feel like if I go something more simple, like a community pumpkin patch that's like really overgrown, I think that would work really cute. Pumpkin patch would be cute. It's like the people in the town have supplied the pumpkins and the people from the city come to get their Halloween pumpkins. Okay, maybe we can try to mess on that idea and I can do like a video on it. Anyways, this is the upper level. So remember that villager house? It's right here behind the villager neighborhood. I was gonna do like a little parking lot for like the villager's house and then just fill all of this in with like trash, like a little dumpster area. And I don't really know what to do here. Do I just keep it simple with like some benches and sitting areas? And this is the road. And then keep in mind, this is now right here where Plaza is. So that is my dilemma. So I think I could do maybe an incline here, but then I have like this really awkward area. So what if I did do a, I don't know, a fall market? Like one of y'all said a farmer's market. What if I did do a farmer's market thing right here? I don't know. But I did consider an angled road transition, but since I'm introducing like Terraform right here, that won't work. So I also wanted to incorporate like some sort of like a miniature road highway thingy too. Not like an actual highway like Slateport had, but like I was thinking like right here could be like a highway like thing. Oh, a Halloween store is actually a really cute idea. Yeah, just some little stalls, some jams, maybe pottery, just rustic fall handmade things. I think that would look really cute right here. And then what if up here, because it's starting to transition into like the more bigger kind of city vibes, that's where I do some structural builds. Like I wasn't planning to do structural builds, but there's so much empty space. So I'm probably gonna have to do that. So maybe I could do like the, the spirit Halloween store code and a bakery or something in a bookstore like do you think that would work because like originally I was planning to do this without any structural builds but as you can see all of my main buildings besides my museum shop and Abel's I have a lot of space left and that's why I'm thinking maybe that's the best bet I still plan to do a park area too like a really nice um overgrown park so so I should do that? Do y'all think that's a plan? I think we actually have a plan now. Like that is the most progress, like thinking process I've had in a while. Give me a second to take a drink because my throat is sore as heck. Ooh, an antique store would be really cute. I grew up in a very small town. So I'm taking a lot of my inspiration for Oakville where I grew up which was like where I grew up, we had like a small, I wasn't technically like the city outskirts, but when I say city outskirts, like my town was so small that a gas station was our store. Like that's how small it was. So um, all these ideas that we've been talking about reminds me a lot of my home. And we actually did have like this little antique store and bookstore like together. So maybe I'll do that. You can see what you like best in that small spot and then the other ideas can go in the other spots. I like, <clears throat> sorry, I like that. All right, so I guess we have a plan now. So what I'll do, I'll actually get Oakville some progress this week. So I guess we will make some progress on Oakville after all. I'll remove all of this because I'm planning to do my New York Island and I want to save my townhouses for New York. So I will remove all of this and this will be the pumpkin patch to kind of blend into the fall carnival. And then I can blend this out to transition into the bigger city parts. That sounds like a plan. All right, so like I said, that my original plan for this island was to have the city outskirts transitions into the big city. But then I got into my head that it wasn't gonna work out anymore. See, that's what I do to myself. 
I stress out and then I tell myself, oh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. And then I delete my island and then I, I it's, it's ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. So this makes me feel a lot more confident and better with those ideas. I think we'll do that. I'm gonna start with the pumpkin patch. Yes, self doubt, I have so much of it. But now that I kind of have like a general like idea in my head, I think I now have something to go off of because of y'all's suggestions. Yes, it's so hard. Um, Kirby says, even though I'm literally almost done with my fall theme town, I'm still getting so much inspo from your island and taking notes for future city town builds because I'm bad at spacing. Oh, I'm so glad. So my plan is to do like my goal for this year. I never focus on fall themes like ever. Y'all know I'm a sucker for my Japanese islands. I practically live in summer and cherry blossom season. So my goal for this year is to do this island, which is a more townsy kind of approach that moves into big city, which we've confirmed I should stick with that because it makes more sense. So I'll continue that. I have something to go off of now, so I feel a lot more confident because of y'all, so thank you. And then I want to do my fall New York island because I know so many of y'all have been waiting for that island for like over a year. Then I want to do a fall Japanese island that's more rural. So that is my third planned um, fall theme island. Then I was thinking of doing something more around elegant core for like a castle theme. So remember that castle entry that we just did? I was thinking that could be an island too that we could do. Something a little bit more elegant, but has a lot of opportunity for like fun shop builds and stuff. So those are my four planned islands. Like I say planned, but I'm hoping to do all four of those. I feel like that is such great fall content for us. And I'm planning to stream um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I want to make sure y'all have plenty of fall content. Now I promise Pokemon's not going to take over my channel, but I do play a lot of Pokemon and I'm wanting to do the whole entire um, playthrough with streams, but I am planning to always do Animal Crossing content through the week. So I was hoping that maybe having all these islands for fall out would kind of like balance out with my new winter themes that I'll be doing after while we enjoy Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So that's kind of like my plan, uh, like, you know, the process that I have going through my head right now. If you don't play Pokemon, the support would really mean a lot to me to be on those streams still because I'm trying to bring Pokemon, Stardew Valley, um, new content to my channel. Like, I'm always gonna have Animal Crossing and content like Animal Crossing be my main focus. So like, I'm planning to do non-Animal Crossing content at least once a week, maybe two times a week. Now with exception, with exception of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that will probably be like three to four times a week because I'm planning to grind out the storyline. So uh, yeah. And yeah, I'm about to wrap up the stream. So uh, that's kind of like my content plans. My new stream schedule, by the way, Wednesdays and Fridays always. Now today was a bonus stream. I will have, if I have extra time to do more live streams besides my usual Wednesdays and Fridays, I absolutely will. It honestly just depends on my little uh, goblin upstairs if she lets me stream. Cause like having a child really just determines what my schedule is gonna be like. But now she started school. So I have a little bit more flexibility, but if I can avoid editing a video, I would much rather stream. So uh, just know that for sure this Wednesday in the morning, central time zone, um, I don't know the exact time, but I wanna say around um, 10 a.m. at least or 11 a.m. at the latest, I'll probably be streaming right when my daughter gets um, dropped off for school. So Wednesday, next stream guaranteed. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on Colin Crossing's Cobblestone Road. Um, if you don't know what that road is, it is um, a really confusing looking road from what I'm seeing. But uh, I had a lot of people asking me um, for help on that road. So I'm gonna be doing a video probably on that tomorrow. And then we'll do a video on Oakville because y'all finally inspired me to work on Oakville today. Christina, thank you so much. Yeah, I think those four fall themes will be super fun. Bribe her with candy. Child, if you uh, stay quiet, I'll give you unlimited candy. I feel like this is a really pretty spot to end the stream on. So maybe we'll do that. All right, y'all, before we go, I'll zoom my face up a little bit so we can end the stream. Anyways, okay. Thank y'all so much for such a fun stream today. Um, thank you for encouraging me to continue Oakville. As many of y'all know, 
I almost quit it and deleted this island. So because of y'all, I have an idea now. Um, I hope that today's stream was very informative. I hope that it encourages you a lot more, that you have motivation to work on your island better. If you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Thank you so much for all the super chats today, all the uh, new subscribers. Um, I think that's a wrap. Just know that y'all are appreciated. Thank you for being here. I love y'all so much. With that being said, thank y'all for a fabulous stream and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.